And boom, it worked. We are going. Now let me just get my fan turned down a little bit. Sorry about the delay there, though. Ugh. I probably should have checked if there were any updates earlier than... Right, like, two, three minutes before we're supposed to get started. Let's go! Hello, Melon Lord, Star Cat, Anastasia, Supernova, you, Cinnamon, Eli, everyone I see in there. Just turn that fan down a little bit because it's getting a little loud. Everyone can hear the game fine, hear me fine, alright. I agree, Roger. Sometimes it is a lot of fun just to do it off the our cuff, do it live, so to speak. All my videos are basically fully edited where I take maybe like two, three hours of writing and spending another weekend basically doing research versus just say, hey, let's see what we get just by talking off the cuff. All right, sounds good. Let me go ahead and switch this into performance mode real quick. And, whoop. and boom, there we go. That'll help with the resources a little bit. You have arrived, John. Hello there. Oh, you're, you're all cut up now, Supernova? Perfect. All right, so there are a few... Th oh, someone just belched right on our ears. But we do have okay. this. Let's see if there are any so let's go ahead and knock this out real quick. There are some now we can grab a few more collectibles. Almost half. Um, boop, boop, boop. There we go. I just need to a little more Actually, I know there's a way to sequence break this where we can get up here early. But I never did it. Basically, when it comes down to doing the little squeeze, uh, what, what's the ability? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Now, let's see if we can make it across here. There we go. Now, I think we may be able to get over here. Yep. Actually, let's do it. I don't think we can get over this one yet, though. Doesn't look like it. Don't eat the pancakes? Yes, never eat the pancakes. Now I want waffles, though. Excuse me, but how would you feel about me putting you in Thank the Thank you, Max. Uh, I had a lot of fun working on the Waterloo word, world. Sorry, it's just really important. So are manners, but you don't seem to care about that. Talk to Otto Mentalis if you need a donut brain. He's got hundreds of them in his brain frame. Creep. Okay, sorry. Thanks. What the cr okay, I'm sorry, brain person. Rank riser. Not, Not my fault. Brand new items here. Beef soup for breakfast? Oh, that's always good. Honestly, when it comes to my breakfasts, I usually just have whatever I have laying around in the fridge and throw it on a burrito. Alright, let's see what we can get right now. Mental connection node has a chance to restore a little mental energy. I like that. Hmm. that choice is a lot and mental you. connection anchors you, your enemies in place. That's really cool, too. Uh, Right now, I'm kind of just buying Accenturation of your brain block upgrade. I'm just buying a bunch of random stuff just to get them. But we do have some upgrades over here as well. What are you? Reduces overabundant color in your photos with a handy filter. Oh, we got photo filters. Cool. I don't really use Dream Fluff, so let's just grab random pins right now. Because I'm pretty sure you're going to get a uh, achievement for purchasing everything. That'll get you out of a sticky situation. That'll at least keep us going I for the time being. Gadgets right now. Even though, honestly, I'm probably going to keep the same three I have on right now. Smash the ground. I'm actually not even using this cannonball ability right now. So let's just do that for the time being, and I think that'll be the best bet. I would never trust one to someone so young. Of course. You should grab the disc. Wait, there's a discount? Some I didn't even notice there's a discount here. on this thing. Where does it say? Where does it show that it's discounted, or is there an actual like section for it? Or am I just dumb? Can't. 
tell. In assorted. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Either way, I can't really afford anything at this point. Um, I'm not sure what world we're going to go into yet. Honestly, I'm probably going to go find the last uh, dancing baby real quick. And then we're going to head over to the Psycho Isolation Chamber to meet with Compton. And see what meets us from there. So let's head back to the quest to the parking lot. Either way, we're good for right now. You can use it until rank 50 to get now is pretty useless anyways. Gotcha. Alright, well actually there is one thing I need to do while we're before we get moving forward into this is uh, mental connection. We can now almost get that. Connect. Oh, we don't have enough of the dark thoughts yet. We're going to have to wait till we get six and then we can get the dark thoughts uh, stuff for the platforming. All right, let's see if we can go find the last of the dancing baby brothers. Is that straight thoughts I'm picking up? Wait. Is there? Did I miss one? Where? I'm not seeing it. Maybe over here? There we go. I think this is the right direction. There we go. I just didn't see the uh, particle effects on screen. I had no clue they were even there. Oh, come on. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, so this is a quicker way to get up to this spot rather than the way that I tried. Fair enough. I still need to figure out how to get that thing, but we're just going to grab the baby roll, uh, the last baby side quest, and then we'll be done. And we'll head to go over to the psycho isolation. Oh, wait. I didn't even know there's a bathroom here. What the hell? Oh, man, that smell. Card. Since when is there a bathroom in this area? I mean, I suppose there there ought to be if people are going to be tour being tourists here. Can't have them going in the woods or anything, but... Oh. This one's even worse. When was the last time they sent someone down here to clear this out? I mean, I'm assuming this place is probably on septic, or you're not going to have regular drains out here. Depends on which revolution you mean. Uh, also, don't bathroom doors normally go outwards? Technically speaking, per code, you need to have the door swing inward. But then again, that code might be local ordinance. It might be a completely different thing. Or maybe it's just uh, swings inward for residential doors and not bathroom doors. I couldn't tell you. No, I didn't know. Can you raise a tent? I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm dead. So I can beat an, uh, a psychic death tank, but I can't cross a bridge. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Airplane rides. So is the tent right here I can raise? Uh, I don't think so. I'm failing, maybe. So it's, we just have to keep going until we hear that music playing. I think he meant the tent. Oh, yeah, the Aquato Dome. Yes, I already did that. Maybe he's over here? Yep. So I think we are on the right path. Dude, grab the bones! Grab the bones, boy. Alright. Pancakes. Yeah, I know I really want pancakes, but I also don't because I don't trust Sam at all. There he is. So we have to go through the fire. Okay. 
what did the, what did one deaf person say to the other? Oh, really? Actually, I heard a really bad one too. Um, it had to do with uh, someone saying like, "Oh yeah, there's some Japanese guys talking at the grocery store the other day." One person asking, "Oh, what were they talking about?" I don't know. I don't speak Japanese. Uh, terrible, but dum bum jokes. Yes. So, how do we get up to you? Maybe we have to jump on the little, um, sass clops thing? Oh my god, let me through. Hmm. Do we have to hop on the thing's head, then work our way around? Ah, uh, no worries, zombie. Honestly, there's a little bit of delay on starting the stream, so... That might have been part of it. Um, maybe there's another path... Wait, there's something up there, though. Is something over here? Hmm. I want to believe in sass clocks, but you're not nope, making that's... it easy, guys. Maybe we do that from the exterior, working inwards. The fire's the right way? Okay, gotcha. But now I'm curious about whatever's in here. Or maybe... I don't know. Yep. Alright, let's head back to camp. Maybe we can find another path to do this from the outside. Oh, oh, uh, I, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay. Took me a second. Sorry about that. And right down there. This is Morris Martinez, and you're listening to KLOB, the smarter part of the lobe. Seriously, how do you get into these weird places, kid? Station. Why do you need to take over everything I like? Dude, I'm trying to introduce you to the DJ, dude. Seriously, wouldn't you think that's cool, kid? Guess not. <laughs> So I'm guessing when you're falling, the uh, balloon kind of reinflates, so you can technically almost, not necessarily infinitely, but continuously. I did see the comment. There we go. Canicorn. So how was this mission sensitive and mission nece uh, necessary stuff? Oh, oh, the, oh okay. D didn't know that, um, zombie. Stuff like that, just don't don't tell me about it if I haven't realized it yet. But it's kind of honestly seeing his animations, it's kind of obvious. But I'm kind of dumb sometimes. Okay, let's head back and check out the isolation chamber. Actually, no, the shortcut was over here, I believe. Norma got sent on a wild goose chase and you got stuck with the bill. Gosh. Don't even get me started on Norma. All she's doing is looking to ruin my life. Okay. Quarry. I've waited 16 years for that burger. <laughs> oh. I was going to say hi there, goat. Alright, let's go over here. So from what I understand, Lizzie is apprenticing under this dude. This is uh, Dogen's grandpa. Hi. Dogen and Sam's grandpa, I guess. Hi. H hi. Hey, over here. What's your name? No, don't. I don't want to talk to you. You're hey. overly cheerful. Welcome. 
You are way too cheerful. Can you hear me? No. I said, what's your name? I don't want to tell you. Wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. Does she not get a lot of people here? Cody? No. Max? No. Hector? Nope, that's not my name. Finn? What do I Angus, do I look Irish to you? Finn? Bart? No, I'm not yellow. Oh, actually I am yellow, Sir. so that's possible. Sergio? Not Sergio. Pete? Yes, my name is Pete. Mike? Okay. Rufus? <laughs> Rufus. <laughs> Hello. Finally. I thought you'd never say hi. I tell ya, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? I used to. Well, I used to be able to turn invisible. Kind of like a blue scarecrow. But she scared me. She scared. Nah, she doesn't scare me. Honestly. But you seem nice. Sam scares so me more than Lizzie. Did I guess your name right? Sure. My name it's is Pete. Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say. I swear. So, how long are you committing yourself for? What? Just a few minutes. Yeah. Wait, what are we talking about here? Psycho isolation, silly. We don't commit people anymore without their consent, unless they're a danger to themselves or others. So is that why people you got Compton's in here? Oh, just Agent Boole right now. He likes it in there. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you-know-what in the woods. I can understand that. You hear, basically, I remember correctly, the pool family basically talks to animals in general, so you'd hear all the wildlife at all times. It would be very... Ghosts? Ghosts, yeah. Voices. He can't shut them out. Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? <laughs> uh, so anyway, I've got a nice room ready That's my for face you right now, too, Raz. Like Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Bull. Oh, well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many I don't, I don't know if there is which forward we're going for. I'm just explode. going with the story. Hi! I'm just doing whatever's here, and we'll figure out the rest from there. Come on. Let's go. Grandpappy Dogen, let's go. Oh, he's a little shorty, too. Hello there, shorty. It's funny, because the only experience we've had with Psycho Isolation was when uh, Maloof got locked inside one of them, and he was, like, terrified the entire time. But I guess at least this one has uh, lighting, so that's a lot better. I think the ones at the campgrounds were full six cents, so no light, no sound, no nothing. Workers' rights under executive... Wait, hold on. How do we zoom in? Workers' rights, maximum wage for employees, nine cents effective date forever. <laughs> what? When was this put up? In the freaking 20s? Nine cents an hour. Hmm. Wow. I see what you're doing there. Hi there, Harold. Hmm. Oh, he's getting loaded over here. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a senior league membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, okay. Don't even look at that. It's private. What? The Agent membership Bull? card for bowling? Huh? I see Lizzie introduced you to Harold. Okay. Hi. I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh, no. He hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans that I know of. Good. Some squirrels. Good. That's it. I see Lizzie introduced you to Harold. Oh no. Harry Kasparov here showed up on his own. Really? So why is Lizzie still out there looking for animals? Oh, well, I mostly sent her away just because it was too many voices in here. You just hint, don't like people hint. in general. She he wants me to go away. I can understand well, maybe not understand, but I can 
imagine what it must be where you're literally listening to tens of thousands. Like, I, I, how strong is his power? Is it not just squirrels or deer and ghosts, but maybe like every ant, every bird, every insect in the wilderness? They would just drive you insane. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh no. With what? I need help catching the mole and the psychonauts. Sorry, don't do moles. They're little snuts. Give me the heebie -jeebies. Yeah, he's obviously got a little bit of issue with... Hmm. So at this point, I like, I'd imagine he's a little bit of a uh, agoraphobic. No, I mean there's a counter-spy in the organization. Oh, well, I'm retired from spy work. A danger to myself and to others, they say. Who would say that? Me. Oh god, yeah, he listened to hundreds of thousands of insects going, Mate with me, mate with me! You're absolutely right, Luke. <laughs> I need help fighting Maligula. Ah, you need to warn a gentleman before slapping him in the face with a name like that. She's long gone, but the scars are still painful. No body, no death. I need a All right, let's change tactic. He's not helping well, us out on that front. Well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she die? No, no, she's somewhere out in the forest. What? Okay. Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. Dude, I'm getting depressed before we even look inside of his head. I love how his hat makes it look like his brain's unlocking, under lock and key. Please let me borrow your senior league membership card. No! Now buzz off! Is, is, <laughs> buzz off! Hey, hang on a second! Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. So it was him and Cassie had a thing just going? one bee? I'll yeah, sure. I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this. How is that fitting through the hole? Okay. That jar looked bigger one than the hole. Coming up. Wow, okay. Okay, I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Fool. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. It, like, I've seen a lot of um, fan, pseudo-fantasy stories that get into that idea where you start hearing thoughts and can't control it. I mean, most of us don't even like to spend too much time listening to our own thoughts, let alone... Stop it, Becky. Your name is Becky from now on. Go away. We don't even want to listen to our own thoughts, let alone everyone else's around us. I'd imagine at a certain point you wouldn't be able to distinguish between what's going on in your head and what's going on in someone else's head. Hey! Sorry, little brother. Damn I it, lady. You were a rabid squirrel. Knock it off, crazy. <laughs> She's kind of crazy. Cuz honestly like I c I can somewhat <laughs> empathize with that sense of wanting to be away from people cuz to be honest on occasion I do get overwhelmed if I'm out in public in a crowd for too long. And it, it messes with me a little bit. So I accidentally, when I was watching another Let's Play, I saw a couple things that I missed. So let me go try and see if this will help. For some reason, there was a boat right here that isn't... Oh, there it is right there. I'm sensing some stray thoughts here. Oh, stray thoughts? Where? Where? Okay. Let's see if there are. Ha, there Perfect. Are some I did not know about that. I knew about the boat, but I guess this works too. But yeah, like after being in a huge group for too long, I, I'm sure everyone has that sometimes. You just need to be alone. Time to recharge. 
What was it? Oh, right, a brain for Nick, so I can get in to see Ford and to keep Nick from getting his head caught in the stamper. Again. Bit of an intrinsic. Like he, like he seems a little agoraphobic yeah. for one. Anyone want to see my oarsman's badge? For no? sure. Very much. I don't know. We'll have to see more about him. But that's just off of a first impression. Yes. Honestly, I'm really impressed with um, the voice actor's work in this so far. Everybody, but Raz is... Like, different inflections and emotional tones are just amazing to listen to from him right now. Captain Eli, thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome aboard. You are amazing. Introvert. Yeah, introvertive. Oh, yeah, he's definitely going to be introvertive. But all introvert really is, at the end of the day, is spending more time inside your own head than being social. You're more focused inwards than focused outwards. Okay, well, at least we got something over here. And I think there is one more thing we can get on top of the psycho isolation chamber that I was unable to get the first time. But I figured out how to do it. Yeah, because the first game, like, his voice was great in the first game, but it felt like it was more like the same type of tonality throughout the whole thing. Where in this one, you hear a lot more emotion, a lot more alterations to the voice while still sounding like the original voice. Like, it, it, it's just incredible, dude. I'm loving his work. So much about this game is just... They spent a lot of good time on it, and I, I'm very much impressed. Yeah, so I didn't notice there was a fan here the first time, so I didn't know I could be blown by it. There we go. Okay, so that's four. We just need two more, and we can get our uh, Dark Thoughts. You should try to fight Auto 3 Station. I haven't seen where that's at yet, but I can try to find it while I'm out in the woods. Absolutely. Yeah, you can definitely hear the Zim in it. I wish that show would come back. Oh my gosh. Actually, I think I can get a shortcut. I'm gonna go die right now. Because <laughs> we have um one of the quick travels down here. To get a loner brain too. Can I get that here? So I'm assuming the bee's gonna be over here in the uh um, questionable area section. Have you seen his work on Skylander series yet? No, I actually haven't seen anything of the Skylander series. I'm very much aware of it. Oh, the brain's in Otto's lab. I've been by, uh, Otto's place. I did not get a brain, though. Uh, since we're already moving forward on this plot line, let's go ahead and take care of it. Okay, so I know that there is one more... Um, as you guys said, what what was uh, that one side quest? Hold on. This bad boy right here, the Psycho Seismometers. I have no clue where it's at in this area. We also need to get a rare mush fungus. Native inhabitants ever once forged their own cutting tools from the area's abundant titanium. Interesting. Time to get some bees. Thankfully, there are no birds involved. Oh, thankfully, yeah. I've I actually missed it during um, my first run through into the Lady Lactopus, but Raz obviously doesn't know what uh, some of the birds and the bees are. <laughs> he made an offhand comment and didn't realize it. Okay, so where would the bees be? The seismometer's behind a breakable wall. Yep. Oh, yay. Alright, just to save time, can someone direct me to the last seismometer? Because I'm just going to be running around here for a while, and I don't want to take up too much time wandering aimlessly. Near the parking lot? Okay, thank you. Yeah, he's 10, so he wouldn't know. But I was just, like, uh, I think he made a comment about thinking that an alcoholic beverage was a roll in the uh, net or something. He's like, oh yeah, my parents always said they would uh, go get a roll in the net after a show. <laughs> uh, 
I was like, you, you, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> something in here no not in here maybe behind looks like there's a section behind the wall here that I haven't been to yet yeah it was a tumble in that something like that yeah oh never mind this just brings us back to this part Well, I mean, they gave Dogen a uh, tinfoil hat to help with it. They should be able to... I mean, Otto should be able to make uh, Compton something. At least I'd imagine so. Uh, most of the stuff I'm watching is on Twitch, not uh, YouTube, so it's not really a big issue in terms of accidentally coming across spoilers. Still... Okay, so you said it's somewhere over here breakable wall in this parking lot area. I'm still not seeing anything. I'd assume so. Yeah, I saw the uh, lock on his hat, so that might be what it is. Where are you? Is it inside the cave? Oh yeah, I already got the tent. Um, direct, where's the uh, last size monitor? Go ahead and uh, tell me. I just wanna get to it so we get this moving forward. Over by the caravan? Over by the tram. <laughs> Those are opposite sides, caravan, okay. Let me through. Not here. Behind the thorn bushes in the small cave. Not there. I think there was another section of thorn bushes way over here. Wasn't there a spot way up here that had some thorn bushes too? Check the paths behind Noria Nona's tent. Okay. Sorry for <laughs> being bad at uh, directions right now. Okay, so here's Nona's tent. There's a spot over here somewhere that I actually got. Yeah, I got stuck into here earlier. There we go. There we go. Okay. Perfect. We're good. All right. Let's go ahead and switch you over to you and let's go. Last one. Maybe this will be the easiest. Oh no. Tim literally has no powers compared to Raz. Oh boy. Oh, forgot that's the dodge button right there. Oh. Nope. None of that. Got done better, a lot better than that. Little guys, just get out of here. Make this easier myself. There you go. I'm, I'm not even gonna stick near you. You are way too dangerous to go by. There we go. Done. Phew. That's all of them. All right. I should let Gisu know I got it done. 
And maybe punch her in the arm. What is it with everyone showing affection by slugging each other in this one? All right, so we got that one. Now let's go find a bee while we're here, and then we'll head back to the other areas. So where would a bee be? Maybe it's just me being weird, but does anyone else love uh, sentences where you use the same word twice, even though they're different things? Where may the bee be, or what it is, is... Yeah, I'm just weird. Did it post-game they use the same types in the game? Problem with the Psychonauts is that they updated any new enemies or introduce. Alliteration is fun. Uh, absolutely. Okay, I still need to figure out how to get up on top of here, though. Maybe we need to stop the uh, hamster wheel that's going on there. It does feel weird using it twice, but it's... Like, when I'm writing scripts, sometimes I accidentally do it that way, and I try to not. So I'll rewrite an entire section just to avoid using the same word twice in a row. Even though, when spoken, it makes perfect sense, I don't want to make any confusions like that. British here. We show affection by sh by uh, shanking people in the streets. The police kind of hate it, but then it gets nice when they say we care. <laughs> Oh, I guess that's one way to do it. Okay. Still... So, the bee is in the uh, questionable area section, correct? So, what's going on, Hunter, is um, we're trying to get a bowling card from Dogen's grandmother. Is anyone... Uh, Am I doing the pose and I'm trying to place my fingers on he my doesn't want to give us any help yeah. until we it's can figure out what happened to his uh, lady love. For some reason. And we need to find bees in here and ask and have him oh. ask the bees where they're at. That's essentially what's going on. There's there the Forgotten we. Forest. Oh, okay. So there's another side path then is what we're saying. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, of course, there's thorns everywhere. Crazy? I know it's you. I'm not stupid. Yeah, of course you're not. <gasps> Damn it, Lizzie. Ah, crud, it's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Why are you're you bad at this, lady. Are they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Yeah. Oh? And you've never side-blasted a squirrel, nature boy? No, I burned uh, them. That's what I thought. I lit them on a fire to cook no them, because you actually get a, a meal from cooking <laughs> birds and squirrels. Really good animals, and there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods. The green her needle witch. Was a banshee, and her father was a porcupine. Let me guess. That's not she how breeding works. Kills them on sight. No, she loves children. She follows them through the forest, and when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so. Impaling them on her needles, filling them Ow. with holes. Okay, if you could just let me down now. Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> that seems like a bunch of big words for a nursery rhyme, I'm but if you say so. I'm strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are <laughs> sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts playbook. The kind they don't get badges for. Oh, dude, it's the nighttime campground music from the first game. It's a re... Sounds like a remix. Creepy. But the thing is, with the psych with the telekinetic bears, we know it's because the titanium leaking into the food supply. Causing some, uh... 
mutations. That's what was going on with the um, animal species over here, but... We got to the point. <laughs> oh, hi there, bees. Looks like a great place to get those bees for Compton. How do I catch them, though? Do I burn them? Do I smack them? Do I break into their minds? Like, wh what do I do here? <laughs> uh, that's all I got. Oh, the simplest okay. thing. Just talk to it. Thank just you. <laughs> you to see an old friend. Don't hate me, B. Swipe. Ooh, I got three. Even better. Dun 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 dun. You got a bee in a bottle. Would you like to keep it, or would you like to put a fairy in the bottle? Something invisible. Lizzie. I don't think Lizzie's gonna come in here. She seems to be a little bit freaked out, to be perfectly honest. Wait, something's mo unless there's wind, something ow. is moving. Hey. Oh, ow! Sharp. Oh God! Lizzie. Uh, Vespa? Nope. No. Yeah, that's why. Nope. GTFO, dude. GTFO. Oh, is that Cassie right there? That's Cassie, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's Cassie. She she's aligned with bees, and it just said that she's really good at compartmentalization and controlling every cell in her body like it's a swarm of bees, so yeah. We got caught again! Dang it, Cooter. I just got that thing set again. Don't confirm or deny anything, but I think this one's pretty obvious. That way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yourself a favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Whew. Okay. Dude. Better get these bees back to yeah, let's head on back. Find his friend. So we we've and already so fought. Yes, we've already fought like telekinetic freaking bears and pyrokinetic cougars and yep. squirrels that can think and rationalize and plan. Yeah, anything that's plot related, don't confirm or deny or accidentally reveal to me. I'll figure it out eventually, but some of these little. Uh, plot details like this, I think they're relatively easy to pick up, but other ones are going to be a lot more difficult. Alright, let's head on back. I want to get some health, is what I want to do right now. Uh, Psycho-isolation, let's go. Oh, give Gisu the thing? Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello. One second, let me shut. Hold on. Give me two seconds. Uh, let me turn you off. One of these days, I'm going to figure out how to adjust the resources on this. Scanning access. As far as I can tell, all my settings are okay. I'm trying to figure out why my PC's getting a little hot right now. Let me just make a few quick changes, sorry. I just don't want my PC to be hot for too much. I don't even know what that is. Let's let's turn it down just a little bit like that. We'll go. Because you're fire at this game, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're heading to GC right now. One of these days, I'm going to figure out how to um, do the two PC setup for the stream, and then we'll not have to worry about it whatsoever. We can also play uh, rougher games. But we'll get to that once I get off my lazy ass and do some research into it. My favorite Psy power? Um, in this game, I'm honestly enjoying the telekinesis a lot more than I did the first game. 
KLOB will finally in the first be game. Because the first game, really, the only uh, skills that worked effectively during combat was obviously the side blast. So where I never used telekinesis because well, it was just weird and it took too long right to load up. <gasps> hey, you gotta start somewhere. Hey, dude, well, you made it here. What are you doing in here? He's the latest DJ I've added to my roster. You mean your only DJ? We have a very specific discriminating musical direction here at uh, Pyrotechnus. What a twist, it was Carl Young all along. Hey, Gisu. Yes, they call me Pooters because our sister did that. Yet? Yeah. Yep. Actually. Those things were a hazard. Well, here's your hazard pay. Thank you. Let us never speak of it again. All right, thank you, thank you. Radio cops, you're busted. <laughs> That's funny, Nark. I'm telling Hollis. No, you won't. That would hurt my internship, and then I'd hurt you. I mean, she does have a skateboard. Okay. She'd smack you in the face. I need to go report my findings to the radio police. Ha ha. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's head on back. Yeah, dude, that kid, he knows how to jam. Brad's little brother definitely does know how to jam. Oh, uh, use clear points on them? Sure. Let me head back real quick. Um, I can't go up that way. Something that I've noticed they fixed with the uh, levitation ball is when you're going uphill, it doesn't slow you down and make you start forcing you to roll back downhill again. Okay. Nice. Do you see me as a narc? Oh, you still see me as a little singer. Oh, that's cute. I'll accept that. So you're just joking with me when you mess around. Would that skateboard be considered a hoverboard? Ah, uh, I'd say so, yeah. It's about time we were supposed to get those in 2015 and they never happened. That is the biggest disappointment of that year. Hands down. Alright, let's head on back and see Mr. Bool. Hi! Levitation board. Yes. Let's learn the power of hopping those thought bubbles. Yes. Hello there. Hi, Becky. Don't talk to me, please. Is it weird that they literally put the guy who wants to be away from people around the one woman who wants to be around everybody? It's almost like they were intentionally trying to design this place to be the dichotomy between extroversion and introversion. Anyways, moving onward. Agent Bull? That looks like some good whiskey. I got some visitors here who are really excited to. Ah! I said one! I only needed one B! Shoo! Shoo! Get out of here! Yeah, Harold, don't let him break your whiskey. I got extra. They seem friendly. Oh no! Don't all talk at once, please! I can't take it! I can't! Lock up it's two of them. Too much. Come on. Too much! Oh no! Don't explode! And don't explode me. Yeah, the Bull family tends to. Ugh. Soothe Compton. Oh, that's nasty. Agent Bull? Ah! What's wrong? Too many voices. Too many everything. I, I don't think he would be able to handle me killing the bees. You want me to kill those bees? No! Because then he'd be screaming. Like with fire, maybe. It's totally not a problem. Please, don't hurt them. Yeah, imagine hearing the dying screams of an insect, and there's, like, dozens of them happening all at once. Ugh. God, I can't even imagine. Never mind. Goodbye. I'll just, I'll just leave you here. He sees me as a bee. Yeah, something that's buzzing away in his head. Anyone else have that... 
uh, feeling in your head sometimes where, like, I always relate it, like, it feels like there's a swarm of flies inside your skull that are just, like, swarming around and scratching at the inside of it, and you just... I only get it sometimes when I'm really trying to focus and do one thing, and I'm just not having it. My, I just can't focus. And I get that sensation. You just have to get up and walk away and do something else or chill out and throw on some music or something. Because that just it just feels like exactly what this guy's going through. Agent Boone? All the time. Would you mind if I made a quick and very quiet uh, wellness check inside your mind? Uh... Scream once for yes, I I'll survive without the side pops. Twice for no. Uh, great. Out of my way, bees. Music. Yeah. Okay, so I got an idea about his personality in terms of how his inner world's gonna be functioned. Let me see the first room and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we got a bell. I'm so excited! I've been waiting for another world. No, not yet. I'm not ready. Eric DePaulo, thank you so much here. for the subscribe. Welcome aboard. Not ready for what? Dinner. Uh-oh. Let me guess. Oh, boy. We're on the menu? No. Worse. Judgment. Why are you being judged? Court is in session. What are you judging yourself Please for? Please remain standing. If you're able. Oh crap, wrong button. Why do you have an in internal judge? Ah, dude, run away. Wow, I got... S wow, I got stunned there real quick. Okay, so this isn't gonna work, but let's wait for him to do one swipe. Back up. Ah, eh, we can just bait out every one of those attacks, I guess. It's not too bad. Let's see if fire works on him after the next one. Can I burn away his gavel? Doesn't look like it. I just gave us gavel fire. That's not good. That's eh, easy enough. Let's take a five-minute recess. Oh, you had to do the flare. Uh oh, you just started dinner with when they're not ready. Oh, no, no. Anything but this. It's time for Ram it down. Wait, what? Oh God, this is gonna give him so much freaking anxiety right here. So many moving things, voices, music. Good Eve. Loud and voices. To Ram it down. I'm your host, Tin Can Zanotto, and tonight. We'll watch one lucky contestant prepare three increasingly complicated dishes in an attempt to please our celebrity judges. Oh, so this is an He'll never do old school cook-off. Oh. And he's the nice one. <laughs> well, let's get to our first It's dish, a puppet show, a game show. From a troubled nation, a Grulovian drowned egg. Ooh. First, our contestant will Whoa. have to find a very outspoken it's a game. Egg. Oh, me! Pick me! Boil it in hot water. I'm all fired up and ready to go. Okay, you got a hungry Prepare hippo. It with an unruly onion. He said my name. <laughs> it's been sliced into pieces. Just call me Pork Chopper. Put them both together on a plate and see if the judges can bear two. Finish your dish before the clock runs out, and you'll win valuable prizes from the mystery box. 
What do you say? Think you're up to the challenge? <laughs> Sounds easy. We got this. Right, partner? Oh, God. Partner? For maybe from your perspective, dude, but... Yeah, what was I expecting? Oh, God, there's... There's a timer! Fuck you, game, you're... Yep. I think I hear some emotional baggage now. Yep, it's giving us anxiety. Sorry, I'm not gonna be able to look at the... The chat for a second. I'm in a hurry. Whoa, 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 uh, give me connection. I missed it. Crap. Drop. Grab it, and go. Food. Yes, got the duffel bag tag. Gotta head back? Okay. Actually, what I can do... Oh, hi there. At least I remember where that's at. Okay, timer's turned off right now. Whoa, okay. Okay, so obviously this dude has some issues with anxiety. The fact that they give you a timer in the world just to... Even, even though it's obvious you can do this easily within the time limit, just the fact of seeing it on screen is going to make you ah, 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 ah the entire freaking time. And I've never watched really watched those cooking shows, but it's like a game show cooking show. The amount of oh shit that's going on in your head at the while you're going through those, I can only imagine is going to be is the metaphor they're using for this. Oh crap. The biggest the biggest thing I noticed was the line that he's nothing without Cassie. So obviously it seems like they had some kind of connection going on here. But at the same time maybe her ability to compartmentalize things assisted him or maybe she helped him into only tuning into one voice at once at a given time and without her he's unable to focus it down and lock things out of his head so he just hears everything hmm. oh, no worries frogmouth you don't spoil yourself but yeah it's sorry i just gotta pause right here okay so we're going back but okay those are my quick off-the-cuff thoughts while we're doing this First tag. Okay, I see a mental vault right there. Fire. Whoa. Whoa, what is that music? That doesn't smell right. Can I get the one? I got one of them. Focus on cooking and collect later. You got it. Ah! Oh, what, what is that? Okay, let's grab the egg. Fair enough, I'll do that first. Uh, hey, you. Now, where is. There it is. There Let's is the hippo. Remembers what to do with it. We got this, right? Actually, I can go up this way. Unless I grab the wrong egg. Ugh. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I even walk up this? Uh, maybe I can slide over there. Hey, yellow bat, how are you doing, good sir? Okay, hold on. Let me let me chart a path because I don't think I can carry that thing up there, unless I can throw it up. Maybe I can just throw it. Fall in! Nope. It's okay, let me step back a little bit. Then we can just stand here and do this. Fall in! Did it go in? There we go! Okay, now we gotta get up there real quick before it overcooks. I'm assuming. Okay, we'll go back and grab all that stuff later. Maybe I can do both at the same time. I don't know. I, I just don't want to mess with this. Yeah, multitasking. What was the other thing we needed? Oh, the onion. Uh, where is the freaking onion? But I'm already halfway cooking this up at this point. I just don't want to overcook the dang thing. 
there's the onion. Now he needs to go yeah, on the chopping block by the pig. Go away. Go away, bread. Go away. Onion, come to me. You won't be sorry. Let's see if he makes the cuts. I could go with nicer if I were in the slicer. Can I just drop it? There we go. Slash him. Okay, I gotta pull the thing. They don't overcook? Okay, perfect. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. Okay, so I know where both of the mental vaults are. We'll grab them later. Hey, jerk! Why did you miss it? The chopping begins. Wait, did I already chop him? State, or is that already chopped? I don't even know. Just go, just go for it. Ow! Stop laughing at me! You guys are jerks. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Okay, so we got one. Let's head back up. Um, that way. Yep. Okay, so that changed color, or is that the same? No, that's not the same place. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think we're good. Please tell me we get a break in between these. Imagine being food trying to agree to this. Like, it's your biggest desire in life to be cooked. He's assembled all his ingredients. If Chef would just hit that button, we can begin the present. Maybe familiarize yourself with the knees next time. Can we make it? I, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Let's go. Eat, eat, eat. Well, here we so is he going to get encouragement eat, eat, through this whole thing that he's actually eat, successfully eat, making the dishes? Or a drowned contestant. He's nervous about their opinion. Does he feel o un like? Does he feel like he's like the weak link of the Psychic Six? Okay, that makes no sense. Sir, what we did was we took an egg. Boring. And we popped it into the water. Pedestrian! Uh, then, uh, then Chef had the idea to uh, withhold the salt at just the right moment to create a sense of, uh, longing within the yolk, if you will. You what? We think it really improves the nose feel of the composition. That makes no sense. Mm, compelling. Bone appetite. Oh, God. Now we got puppets ah. eating shit. Acceptable. Surprisingly acceptable. Okay. <laughs> Bullshit critiques exactly. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box. Perfect. Beautiful. <gasps> we got half a brain. Yay. Oh, don't just stand there. Resting it gets harder. Own. Okay. <laughs> that one was a gimme. Let's see how Hit you the green slimes to get help. Thank you. Show. Congratulations. You did it. How does it feel? Um, well, fantastic. Well, we don't care what you think. <laughs> because it's time for your next dish. Right after this commercial message. Well, of course the drowned egg is going to lead to jello. That's how cooking works, right? I've seen YouTube videos that do that, where you like cut a Lego in half and it turns into something. Tin can crunch. Stop stroking the box sensor. That's weird. Yeah, like I, I, I can tell there's some kind of judge in his head, but okay. At least the sensors finally made it back. Ow! And like the only way he was actually useful was the added benefit he got while. Whoa! No, turn around. 
target the other one. So far, my only complaint about the combat, for the most part, is the lock-on feature. It's a little bit annoying. Oh, gosh. It's sometimes, like, I, I can't turn and lock onto things that I want to. Okay, does this mean we can actually shoot him now, though? Yeah, we can. Eh, let's just stick to this. This works better. You may cross it. Counselor. Yeah, I, I'm def I'm with you, Ye uh, Yellowbat. That's definitely my opinion. Feeling overwhelmed is to take breaks. So before I push that button and start the next dish, let's take a breather, okay? Good idea. Yes, yeah, so let's take a breather. Okay. Perfect. Uh, let me pop you. Actually, that's gonna go you. Telekinesis is on the right, and we can make the connections there. Okay, perfect. Future reference: You can roll over the purple slime to get rid of them without taking damage. Thank you. I never locked on, granted. Objection to the testimony contradicts the evidence. <laughs> okay, let's go collect stuff. Never touch the gut judge's gavel. Okay, half a mind. Let's go. I don't want to forget to pick up my... Oh, that's right. I already had half a mind from uh, Hollis's yep. world. I never got the other half, so... They transfer over to different worlds, so that's good to know. But if we're boiling, please, that'd be easier if you go left. Copy that. Thank you for the tips. All right, let's go do a little bit of collectibles real quick. It seems like a relatively small world, but with Glorious Theater, we see exactly how we can make good use of small areas. Come on. Jerk. Okay, let's get a few more figments of a cheeseburger and a broccoli. So what is the obsession with cooking, though, specifically? Or maybe it's just the metaphorical thing, kind of like maybe it's time to smash gambling button. and um, medical stuff. Hmm. Blender takes longer. Stressful. Yeah, it's a little bit stressful. Right now, we're doing okay because we had a little bit of a break. Hey, Gage Man. Six Williams, thank you so much for joining, jumping aboard. Very much appreciate you. Can I hop up there? Maybe a hop on top of this camera. I'm sorry. I know this is the completely wrong genre, but the music plus the crowd earlier just reminds me the price is right. Mm -mm. We still have that jumping ability, don't we? Let me try that. There we go. And perfect. Here's the hat box tag. You total you get the to same feel? Yeah. He's like, oh my god, pick me, come on down. All that fun stuff. <laughs> Recommend learning the fastest ways to get ever before you continue with the meals. Gotcha. Maybe the mix of animals and stressful situations, nothing is terrible for someone with low self esteem and anxiety than having a shit show for an audience. Hmm. It's, it's interesting if you put it that way. Low self-esteem mixed with anxiety and the constant persecution complex where you feel like the world's focusing on you. I've heard it said at one point that uh, the problem with a lot of human anxiety when it comes to focusing outwards is that we're constantly worried that everyone else out there is judging us. But we tend to forget that like monkeys, or the metaphor goes like goes with monkeys. All the monkeys out there are no good shits. And they can't... Oh, let's see. What, how did the phrase go? Sorry, I'm, try, I'm trying to remember how it goes. Basically, everyone is no good shits and everyone's deathly afraid that they'll, other people will find out that they're no good shits without realizing that the other ones are also no good shits. I'm trying to remember. Like, I'm saying it really badly. I apologize, but I think you get the point. 
Okay, so we got this right here, which moves around the fire. It's because I missed um, one of the things in Hollis's mind. So I should have had five already. Ooh, there we We got it. Mental connection. Boom. We now do dark thoughts. Perfect. I like fighting. But if I'm going to help each of you, I better hit that button. Mm. Next okay, so we got a cat blender. We got that fire right there. Basically, the moral of the story is we're always so worried about what others think of us, and we don't realize that they're worried about what we're thinking of them, too. Pizza! Cheese! Oh, that's how you're supposed to get up there. Never mind. <laughs> My bad. Keep, keep an eye out for them. Perfect. Yeah, the biggest thing I wanted to do quickly is get the Dark Thoughts stuff. Okay. Um, so we still got a few more figments over on this side. Cat blender, cooking thing, chopping, and the boiling. So that's really the main four sections. Ow, that, that hurt. Okay. That... Oh, no, no, no. Don't type it down, thank you. Um, There's one more over there. Let's go ahead and grab the mental vault while we're here. You've kind of just been running past them. I know, right? I haven't... I didn't eat other than a couple snacks before the stream started. Compton on his own. Okay, so yeah, he definitely had an infatuation with her. There's a house out in the middle of the woods. She's working on her beekeeping. Compton Sanctuary. Okay. So he has all of the animals along with him, and that looks like the green needle lady, so I'm assuming that's Cassie. Something happened here. Or maybe that's not maybe that's not her. Maybe that's um. Is that Maligula? But also, all of his animals drowned with the deluge there. And I imagine he probably heard all of their screaming th thoughts. Helmet full bear died right there. Yeah. And then they opened up the mother lobe. He's by himself. And she, afterwards, she went off on her own. And everyone's, he felt like everyone was persecuting, even his own animals. What? It's where the relationship is deep or strictly platonic. There are hints at something, but nothing is clear. So is it, is all the thoughts he's hearing from them or at least the tone of what they're telling him. Is that real or imaginary? I'd imagine it's mostly imaginary. God, that'd be absolutely horrible. Okay, so that's just for that one right there. Imagine hearing your entire army and... It, I don't know what it is, but for some reason in literature, death of an animal is way, way worse than death of a human being. Because they are so innocent at the at the end of the day. That's horrible. That's absolutely horrible. I mean, it's, he has grandchildren, so the relationship would have been more platonic. Well, we don't know. Um, I don't think, at least as far as I know, he hasn't said if... The children are from her, but he had some kind of relationship. Did I get this one? Suitcase. Nope. That's what I need here. 
Okay, there was another uh, vault that I saw. I forgot where it was at, though. Maybe it was over here? Pork chopper. They're just friends. They don't have the same capacity as humans. Exactly. Oh, there we go. Uh, and we'll go down that way next. Guess why, like, in it's always more depressing in literature when an animal dies than when a person dies. It's weird, but that's me personally. I was only trying to help. Okay, so he broke into a place full of caged animals. Freed them all. They all loved him. What, what, what just happened right there? Who is that? He got locked up. And then he was that... For, is that Ford? Okay, so he basically tried to break out a bunch of encaged animals. We're using... Look, looking at the syringes in the bottom, I don't know if this was a hospital or some kind of testing facility. He's, he was hooked up and arrested for... The intrusion. Okay. That was when he met Ford. The Compton doing doing as Dogen did. Yeah. Oh wait, did he accidentally blow them all up? Holy sh! Yeah, sorry. It took me a second to realize that. Holy crap! Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't even want to think about that. I have a really soft heart when it comes to animals, so that... I, I don't like that. Jesus. Hey, son of the hell, thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome aboard. Welcome to Psychonauts. <laughs> oh, trust me, I know. I've been in and out of this game series for... Or this, uh, the first game for a while. Ugh, and I'm dead. And we also have another one from Recharge7. Thank you so much for joining. Okay. Oh, we got one thing up there. I think we're almost done looking around. At least until the next section starts. Yep. And let's go. So there's something way up there. How do we get up there? I think I figured it out. Ah, don't fall into the blender. That is bad. That that would be bad. <laughs> Oh, my playthrough of the first one got you back into Psychonauts, so I'm glad. The twisted references to how they cook these animals. Yeah. I can see that, too. You can definitely tell what the game designers are <laughs> trying to hammer in your heads here when it comes to animals. For sure. Okay. So let's go ahead and... I think we need to hop up on top of the porker here. Oh, hi there. Okay, that was an accident. Let's go. Yep, and... Hop! Nope, that's not going to work. Okay, so that did not work. Because I thought we basically have to hop onto here and then work our way across. Nope. Maybe I'm wrong. Best way to stop the voices by making them go away. Ah. Uh, then he has to, yeah, either make them go away unconsciously or stay away from them. Okay. Dark thoughts. Fair enough. Do 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 do. Let's go.
There we go. Alright, perfect. Um, Let's go ahead and do round two, and then we'll do search up the rest later. Alright, second dish. Let's do this. See, Agent Bull? You can do it. Next one won't be so easy. You got that right. For your next dish, you'll be creating... I can imagine he also feels like he let e his entire army of animals down as well, and that You'll need to boil led to his feeling egg. of... <laughs> Easy. Take some bread. I've already risen Anyways. to the occasion. Sliced <laughs> up and bread's much nicer once it's been through the slice. So we gotta toast it first, then slice it. Fry it up on the griddle. I'm getting ready to rip it. Flip out! Uh, well, what about the strawberry, huh? Hey! <laughs> Glad you asked. We'll need not just any strawberry, but a strawberry that's been blended. Blended strawberries, so we need jam. All right, monsieur. It's time to show us Okay, let's do best. this. Madame. Will's word, thank you so much for jumping on board. He'll select first. Okay, where is strawberry? Uh, uh, there's the blender. Just needs to blend that Quick moving blades, razor sharp. Let's do that. Uh, next thing we need is the toast, which we need to fry it up. Or do we need to toast it? Is that toasting it versus you, you, you? What is on the side? No, I think we need to cut them first. Just go. Jump up. Wait, what just glitched over there? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Perfect. Let's go. Alright, so let's just roll on down, drop you off. I think we need to put them all together first, right? Oh no, we need to, we need to griddle him first. Uh, crap. I'm just gonna accept the damage. I don't care. Let's go. Get me in that pan, man. Wait, no, no, go over. Come on, let's go. We also need to boil the eggs. Crap, I didn't start that yet. Good job on that bread, chef. Just don't forget to plate it. I'm plating it! I'm going! Yes, I'm getting total freaking <laughs> Price is Right vibes right now. Okay, let's go. Okay, I need you. Go in. Crap. Not really. Oh, or can we just toss him in there? Go in the freaking thingy! Egg, lady, let's go. Sorry, I, I nope, not there either. Hey, I hear you worked with my brother. No. I can't wait to get cooked. Why aren't you going in? There we go. Okay, where is the blender? There's a blender. Let's go. So I'm just gonna accept a lot of the damage here. I don't really care too much. Oh, I didn't even start the blender. <laughs> Crap. Sorry, I'm not watching chat right now. Okay, I'm on. Okay, well, I guess we're just kind of just chilling out for a little bit. So, how's everyone doing today? <laughs> now it's the waiting game. We got everything else taken care of. Just go to the pot to boil the egg. Eh, we got it all taken care of. Oh boy, so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to decide what I want to cook for breakfast tomorrow morning. Eggs, obviously, because that's kind of a staple of every nice breakfast. I might go down and get some bacon or maybe some chorizo. Anyone else want... I don't know what it is, but recently I discovered the um, how amazing um, ham goes with thyme, actually. Have you ever, ever cooked ham with thyme? It's amazing. Give it a shot. All right, done with the break time. Let's go. Did 
Do 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 do. Almost done here. Oh, do you now? Or do we go down below to get the jam? How do we get the jam? How do we get the jam? How do we get it out? Where does the jam go? It's in front of the blender? Oh! Wow. What would I do without you guys? <laughs> no, 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 make it! Okay, at least it doesn't drop things when I'm levitating. No. Okay, give me a second to breathe. That button will serve the judges. Did we make it? I I'm croak, 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 I actually do need my I lost my glasses, just letting everyone know so I can't see shit. Are you worried about croaking? Oh god. Reveal the meal <gasps> They're holding hands, that's so cute. Ooh, fried egg sandwich. We have that does look good. To infuse this dish with uh, sweetness, curiosity, and resilience. The more sensitive palates among you will also discern just a dash of regret. Edward, okay, okay. So consistently, when you have wine tasting events, slightly better than a mouthful of nails. Slightly better than a mouthful of nails. That's that that's that's a compliment, but. Consistently in wine tasting events, when you don't tell people what it is, people will take the two buck check over the two hundred dollar bottle of wines every time. It's weird, but because they're told it's expensive and it's high quality, they're they're, they're willing to pay more for it, even if the taste isn't as good. Well, you two must be feeling great after producing such a quality product for our judges. And speaking of quality products, it's time for a word from one of our sponsors. Let's go, sponsor! Makes me think there's a serving a memory or something, but I have no idea of what. You can rail while levitating. Gotcha. Confirmation bias, that's a potential as well. Bees! Oh, there's some regrets right there. Bees, the best food. Compton seems like the kind of person who likes to be in the second. Okay! Stop it. I sentence you to death. My power comes no. From give me give me your hammer. From justice. Actually, no, I can do that better. For, for justice. Now, nah, I'm going to stop trying. Oh, you jer Okay, hold on. I need to switch over to Yeah, let's do you. Almost had it. No, not not that, not that. I need you. Perfect. Come on, give me your hammer and kaboom! My baby! I, I can't do that judge voice, unfortunately. Ah, you jerk! Just, just, just go away. Just go away. None of that. Objection! Oh, Joshua B. You know what I hear when I hear objection? Thank you. The dude in the um. Don't know what I do without you. How would you? What is it? Uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride at Disneyland. All I hear is that objection. Just what the doctor ordered. Phoenix, you're thinking of Phoenix, right? Though I hear ya. Oof, the enemies so far. The judge just has actual dialogue, right? Phoenix, right for you. Gotcha. There's this one section of Mr. Toad's Wild Ride at the uh, Anaheim Disneyland that. Has, this is that you turn around a corner and you're getting judged. All right. I haven't been to Disneyland in forever. It's ridiculous, Andrew. All right. So because we're talking about f food right now, everyone grab a pen and paper. We're going to go with one of my cheap, easy, quick recipes. If you really don't feel like cooking for dinner. So it's basically going to be a fried ham and egg, uh, or a uh, fried ham sandwich. But what you do is you first cook the ham in the uh, skillet with thyme. 
throw it onto the um, Maybe it's time to smash that bread with whatever cookie. cheese you choose, and then in a side thing, melt some butter with some parsley and garlic. Throw it on, butter the sides with regular butter on the sides of the bread. Toss it in, cook them to they're brown on both sides, and then once it's cooked, grab a uh, brush, brush on the garlic parsley mixture on both ends, and do a quick sizzle that lasts no more than five seconds. And you got yourself a pretty damn good ham sandwich. Hop o jump over the hippo and do the trampolines. You got it. Sorry, I just need to take a quick break there. <laughs> I apologize. Um, just until it's really heated. You don't have to do it for too long. It's mostly just to get it up to a nice cook temperature. I think I've already gone behind here for the trampolines. I don't know what else they're talking about. Recipe again? <laughs> um, I'll tell you what. When this VOD goes up, I will include the recipe in the description. If anyone wants to check it out. Ah, slow down. You got me foaming at the mouth for ham. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, I had a wild hair for like two months where I was doing cooking everything with ham and thyme. And, ugh. Ugh. Whenever I eat anything, it's anything fairly. I add garlic powder and Italian seasoning. It's amazing. Yeah, it's easy. Garlic powder and Italian seasoning. Like, I use, uh fresh garlic and hack it up, but anyways, moving on. Uh, d -d 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 oh, there's one right there. I think that's just a little dish of butter right there. Oh, we got some carrots by the camera. Oh, there's one. So are these uh, figments showing up more now that we are continuing onwards? Because I didn't notice these ones before. Suitcase tag behind the skillet. Okay. Yeah, for a while there, um, I think it's my former roommate. He is an amazing cook, so he got me really interested into it. There is nothing back here. You just sent me to my death. <laughs> so he got me. He does mostly Mexican cooking, though. But... Whoa, where am I? You said it's behind the skillet. I don't see anything. Hold on. Let's take a look up here. Compton Cook-Off. All right. Figments are done. I guess wasn't half mine. So we got both memory vaults. Ready. Wait, there's one right here. Start the next round. Behind the skillet face. Oh, up, up there. Are we talking about, like, way up here? There we go. Gotcha. Okay. Perfect. Took me longer than I hoped, but whatever, we're doing it. All right. So now where was this lid? I think it was over here, if I remember correctly. Yep. I like that they shortened the uh, audio track when we get the metal baggage sorted. As much as I love how cute they are, it the original in the original game it took a little too long. It's, it overstayed its welcome a little bit with the duration. Okay, so we got that. We got four more half mines, and so we got one more set. So far, the only place I don't think we've gone to is trying to get behind here. Unless there's something down there? No. Nothing in there. Do do behind the blender? I 
I'm saying I, I noticed him here before, but I don't think we got the tag yet for it. I'm gonna try to get collect everything before we move on to the last round. Whoa, oh, there, over there, I see some. Let's go and not fall into the blender. We don't want to be a uh, chunk from Goonies or anything. Almost lose your hand. Here we go. And... No, 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 wrong way. So I see three out of the four right here. Oh, never mind, all of them are here. Okay. And we're missing that. We're going to have to hop on the little um, spatula right there. That's it. Perfect. Okay. So now we just got to find the last tag. And I think we're 100% on the collectibles in this area. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's in the mystery box. Perfect. Let's go on. Okay. But if I'm gonna... You know, we might just get through this. I think we're going to get oh, through it, Compton. It just jinx it. Me too, because it's time for our third and final dish. All right, you're going to watch me struggle again. I'm sorry. Diner, it's no. The honey pepper pancake stacker. No pancakes. We're old friends. He boiled my dad and grandfather. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that egg needs to fry. Oh, fried and eggs, I'm okay. Your guy. Next, Ribbit. You'll need a boar. I'm just a pig, but trust me, I'm game. Get huh. it? Yep, yep Whatever, you are game. As long as that pig gets sliced. Because Sam and her pancakes it's traumatized me. Sick, man. And <laughs> Wait, I got a bowl of double skip? To give our pancake stack that signature beehive look, you're going to be using an actual beehive. Woo I'm all a buzz! Okay. I wish Cassie were here to handle those bees. But wait, there's more. The final touch of summery sweetness comes from a watermelon. It's about time. That's been watermelon time. and a pancake. Sure, I guess. Uh, kind of still thinking about that pig. Though. Yeah, you're and making a pig one. cut up a pig. Oh. <laughs> oh God. It's like I'm the big finish. Okay, let's. No pressure, but this is Ford Cruller's favorite dish. Ooh. To mess this up would be an insult to the very heart of the Psychonauts. Oh no, we can't do that. All right. <sighs> Crack some knuckles. Let's do this, people. Better get cooking. Can you levitate while carrying ingredients? I think you can. Oh crap, it's already started. Okay, where's the watermelons? I'm gonna start there. Uh, boom. Need to tune this out. Ah, yeah. oh, crap, no, go back. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get up there. In position. Now. I want to get this. I want to get this watermelon in the blender before I get the egg. Oh crap! Push it. Perfect. Let's go. Blender is over here. Let's go. No. There we go. Come on and no. No. Let's see if Shanna can bring the car. Grab it! No! What are you doing? Come back! Did I lose it? I... Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna need your friend. Get back over here. Oh god. No one no one judge me on this. Oh my god, I died. You know, we might just get through this. Oh, I hope I didn't just jinx it. Me too, because it's time <sighs> for our third and final dish. Straight from the lumber stack diner. All right, let, 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 let's let's not do that again. Okay, I guess we're starting with the frying. We know Chef has boiled an egg before, but this one needs to be fried. Egg, oh no no, egg, come back to me. Come on, go over. Heat it up, heat it up, do it quick, do it quick. Oh crap, move it over. 
No, 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 go back. You're bouncing too much. I didn't realize this thing bounced. That ingredient looks ready. Now, okay. He just has to get it back to the serving plate. Oh my god. Everyone forgive me for my horrible... Uh, okay. Part one done. Watermelon coming with me. No! No! Oh my god. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Um, what do we need to do? Let's do the honeycomb then. Multitasking. Oh crap. I am failing how to play. Wait, do I have to do this here? Why is this not working? Why isn't this working? It's supposed to go in here, right? No, it doesn't go in the griddle. Where does this go? The boiling pot? Boil! Shit! Oh my god. Come on. And hop. Go. Yeah, I'm failing this hardcore. I don't. Oh, there's a watermelon. Jump! Oh my god. Raz, what are you doing? Quick moving blades. Blades are sharp. What could possibly go on? I am failing terribly. Come on, grab it. Let's go. No, 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 no. Crap. Okay, well, this did not go as well as I liked, but it actually might be beneficial because then I can just go this way. Okay, let's go grab a pig. Get moving. Pig? Nope. Fuck you, strawberry. I don't want to see your face right now. No! Got it. Okay. No, no, no. Put it back. Put it back. Oh my god. Yep. I, I have anxiety right now, too. It's ridiculous. Bacon, come with me. And you still have a happy face after that happened. I, I don't I don't like that. Okay. Mm. Over. Honey, pepper, bowl, bacon, I smell. There we go. Not yet. Stop hopping so high. Quick chef, get that ingredient back to the serving plate. Okay. Let's go. That's still spinning, so let's grab this one first. I'm ready to swarm this dish. Grab it, grab it. Crap, we're not close enough. Thirty seconds to go. I don't want to panic you, but I would say panic would not be completely inappropriate at a time like this. Like the dish is a Boom! <sighs> Lumber stack! Lumber stack! Lumber we got it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> right at the buzzer. No? I didn't mention the possibility of a deadly swarm of killer bees? No. You didn't warn us of that. Let's see what we got. Reveal! Lumber stack, let's go! Ooh. I'm sorry, watermelon. Is that the tallest stack you could manage? It's taller than it looks. 
because it is. we put the literal height of the horizontality of the flavor profile. There you go. If you will. Make it until you break it, people. Or fake, sorry, fake it until you make it. That's what they're doing. They're just bullshitting it until it's accepted. Moderately pleasant. Moderately pleasant. There you go. Yeah, no one saw the other tries. No one saw me die and get kicked out of the brain. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box. There we go. Well, Chef, it looks like you've won over not just our judges, <laughs> Make it but so also you break it, our boom. audience. <laughs> have you guys realized why I script out all of my videos? Because I, uh, I can't talk well, on the fly. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without this young man here. No way! You can totally do this on your own now, Agent Bull. No, don't say that. That's great to hear. Because it's time for... What audience? Bonus round. Double yep, bonus round. Let's go. That's right. It's time to. You have to get double a uh, down. double down chicken sandwich from KFC. Alone in our isolation station, completely oh boy. dependent on his sous chef to gather the ingredients he needs for the okay. final. Let's do this. Three dishes. Don't worry, Agent Pool. I'll get you. All Boss fight. What do you think, judges? Ready for another course? No problem. We're professional. Uh, we They're gonna to explode. Make a little room. Okay. To the vomitorium. Vegetable medley. Ingredients on the board. I'm getting out of here before things get messy. Ghost bathtub. Gluttonous goats. Possibly. Okay. Wait, I have to fight them. Oh crap. Okay, hold on. I need to switch you over to that. And what's switch fire? Um, there. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Perfect choice. But is it too late? Wait, what is this? That's not a, that's not an onion. That's an onion. Come on. Pop it open. Pop it open. Oh, my God. Get away from me. This is disgusting! Who chose this? Oh my god. Oh dear lord. Okay, give me something to throw now though. Uh, what are you? That's Nag. Okay, we're good there. Do we just have to keep doing this? Because I'm not doing any damage right now. Stop it. Stop it. Stop trying to run into me, you goat. Hollis. Thank you for breaking that. I think I might never eat it. Okay, at least Crawler's giving us the stuff we need to throw. Ugh, ugh. Okay. Strawberry, go. There we go. At least we got something going on. What do we got? What do we got? Or do I jump in that myself? He did it! We did it! What's I don't even know what's happening. As you know, in the double down round, the chef's assistant must serve the dish to the judges. Let's see if this young man has a passion for service. Um, how do I... What do I... Oh, there we go. Eat, eat, explode! I want you to explode. Otto, I'm sorry. Belly burster. Oh, it looks like our judge liked that dish. He's the best, no contest. Yellow Bat, you should know the reference. Someone's ready to get back in the mix. Hey, it's an egg beater! That's me, I'm the egg beater. I'm out of here. Second dish is royal borscht. Okay, let's go. 
All the sludge in the level is purple, just like doubts. Yeah. Gross. Okay, let's go. I think we got this now. Uh, Hive goes. No, we don't need that. Okay, so if we throw it in the wrong one, then it's gonna be bad, bad, bad. Copy that. Um. Oh God. Come on, I need to get the health. Come on, I just need to jump across there, get some health real quick. There we go. That's not working. Come on, throw me some more ingredients. We got bread on both ends. Nope. We don't want that. We don't want that. Wow, the RNG was really good to me the first time around. There we go. We got one of them done. Oh god, who thought this was a good idea? I'm actually really glad I did not play this on Sunday. Because if anyone doesn't know, I was out on um, deep sea fishing last Saturday and got really seasick. So, not to be gross, but this was me on Saturday and Friday all day. So playing this on Sunday would have just brought back bad memories. Oh, we got a pig over there. Pig? Nope. Nope. Pig! There we go. Get in there! That did no damage to me. What the hell? Well, it's not like I have no much choice. Almost there. Come on, almost done. Okay, we need eggs. Nope. No, I didn't throw that over there. What the crap? Maybe I should just put it down instead of throwing it. Now they're both shooting at me. Just got here. This is a weird episode of The Muppet Show. <laughs> you are not wrong. Ow. This is what happens when the Muppets turn 21 and they... <laughs> This is the morning after. In so many ways. All right, give me eggs this time. That's an onion. Egg, go. Oh, I didn't even notice Comp was in the background cooking. Wow. Crap. This feels like an over- like, just looking at him on the screen, it feels like an overcooked episode, or a level. Yes, this is a no story spoiler zone. I haven't seen anything so far, but... Alright, next one, let's go. Go, take it all, take it all. Explode. In terms of goats, why they're goats? Let's see if our second judge can exercise a little more moderation. What do they think about? Uh oh, someone's been overserved. They've been overcooked. Ha ha ha! Oh, now we got a spatula. That's not good. Final dish is no laughing matter. Mess up these jam tarts, and you'll find yourself in a sticky situation. All right, last round. It's gonna get a little bit. Come on, give me my health back, and getting the health back actually damaged me the same amount as I did. We need a beehive. Perfect. Perfect. All right, next try. Let's go. So we're basically recreating the same three dishes we did in the main game. 
I really haven't been paying attention. The ingredients are so nice, he's using them twice. Come on. Okay. No, 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 Blender. Stay away from me, Blender. Come on. Pop it out. Pop it out. Pop it out. Pop that boil. Looks like a giant frickin' infected zit or something. This young boy reminds me of a daughter I used to have. Here's the love to roll around in vomit. <laughs> a daughter so used to have? I honestly wish I could listen to his commentary more. We don't need one of those right now. No, 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 no. There we go. Hmm. What just happened? I just, whoa, I just randomly hopped for no reason. Attack. Oh, wow. Hi there. Okay, that wasn't fun. Spatula attack is not good. At least you announced it, though. I appreciate it. I really want to listen to the commentary throughout this, but it's kind of hard to focus while you're running around in circles trying to avoid purple X whatever. Yeah. Nope, we need strawberries. Strawberry, go! So, special sends you flying guy. I didn't notice that at first. Okay. Okay, that one's done. So now we gotta switch over here. Oh, you jerk. Grab him, grab him, grab him. Okay, so that's a little area of effect there. Back up, back up, back up. What you gonna do? Throw a book at me? Nope. Okay, we need some health real quick. Um, switch that back over. We're really getting low on health. Well. Ooh, those look good. Some little tarts right there. I'm sorry, Ford. I know this is not what you wanted, but eat all of the sweets. No room for bacon. Run for the hills, folks! Oh god, no, 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 no! It's okay, Raz. This is why you have goggles. For that very reason. Yeah. Well, I don't know about yeah, you. Yeah, he he was I controlling all of them. My yep. fill of excitement today. All right, everybody. Let's exactly. He, he's business. doing the sock puck with theater, and he's the one controlling the ones that are talking Come down to him. So he's judging clean himself. Kitchen, That's exactly night. what that is. Uh, you see, this is why I usually get takeout. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's judging himself. I don't have any side candy, Luke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is so Cassie. But what do you mean they won't let her out? Charcoal's on back of order. What librarian? Wait, what? Hmm. Here, my boy. You've earned this. What librarian? I need to go find Cassie right away. Lost? We'll never get lost. I know that he's lost. leaving. Like the back of my hand. He's actually Wait. leaving. Don't you want help? Hmm. Guess he doesn't. Huh. All right. So, from what I'm the gathering, pass, I can get to Agent Crawler in the bowling alley and try to reconnect that aspect of his mind. The bowling aspect. The bowling aspect of his mind. All right, so from what I'm gathering here, let's just do a little download real quick. I might need to get some more water in a second, but it's all good. Oh, boy. You'll find out if you don't worry about it. Raz didn't say anything. Foreshadowing. Chase after him. Psych candy and dream fluffs are life service. Yeah, I bet they are. I just never grabbed one. All right, so... Psycho Isolation Chamber. This is basically supposed to be a six sensory deprivation prison for psychics. But again, he's here of his own volition, as stated by Becky out in the front. I know that's not her name. I'm just going to call her Becky. Um, 
which means he, this is a self-imposed prison he's put himself in. And again, within his own mental world, he is the he is the playing the role of the three judges that's judging him on his own performance. And I can almost guarantee that none of the other Psychic Six really thought of him any less of him. But he perceived that and behaved accordingly. And we basically had to help him take off the sock puppet gloves metaphorically. Yeah, exactly, that's the power of anxiety. You're so worried about something that in all likelihood never will happen. And really think about it, people. How much time have you spent, I know I have, how much time have you spent worrying about something that never actually comes to fruition? Hi. It never happens, but we're, we spend so much time freaking out about it that we start messing up enjoyable parts of our lives I wish I could report worrying about it. I'm doing to Agent Foresight, but Agent Sonata I am very guilty of that. Not to. He can't really suspect Hollis. Can he? Wait, I didn't grab the tag? I guess I got kicked out before I can grab it, so um, I'll, I'll go to the, uh, hold on. Let's go to the Brain Temple real quick and take care of that. Uh, Atrium, there we go. Yeah, so let's just jump back in, because that's literally the last thing we have to do. Sensing some stray thoughts around. No, 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 no camera. Here, thoughts, thoughts. There Let's we go. Thoughts. There we go. That's what we wanted. Okay, so that one's perfectly fine, but we've got that card. How many do we have? Foresight is judge, and so there are two friends, but Truman is host. Uh, both Fred and Compton have the elements of their mind you have to beat in their own game. Exactly. So, I I'm pretty sure once we finish up the original Psychonaut series for the uh, lectures, we're going to see a little bit of overlap going into this one. Because once you get the basics, you're going to see of uh, certain conditions and thought patterns. We're going to start noticing it more frequently. Uh, 24, which means we need two of these. Let's combine that Psychor with your card so you can rank up Kaboom. Kaboom. Perfect. Rank 40. Please use your purchases responsibly. Oh, since he's the president, both plays the roles, place him fully in charge. Yeah, some repeat. Well, it's not that it's unavoidable, it's just the nature Come of psychological conditions and Any behavioral disorders, and emotional disorders in general, oh. is there's going to be general overlap. It's just each time, it just because it's the same behavioral pattern or emotional pattern, it can display differently based upon our own personal life histories. Again, personal unconscious. All of our lives and all of our mental scapes are going to be completely unique to us, but there are some overlapping patterns, so to speak. Okay, so we got you, we got you. Let's go ahead and check this up. So we got five. Pyrokinesis is bigger, don't really care. Uh, increase the devastation, I don't care. Uh, reveal, I don't care about you. On impact, mental burst and smile. Projectiles that do less damage. That's actually probably pretty good. Get an extra attack, additional shockwave, and your ground pound. Let's just go over here for now. Interesting. Okay. To the tumbler. Okay. Um... Mm -hmm. Let's go. See if there's any new dialogue. Is that really so fascinating watching her squeegee the fish? Hey kid, you didn't take the toilet plunger, did ya? No. Why is that the first thing on your mind? Okay, that's yes, it's really fascinating to watch her do that, but whatever. We haven't talked yep. to me in a little bit. Mia? Yes, darling. 
What do you think about the casino papers? What do you think about those casino papers, Mia? Well, they were very disturbing, I'll say that. Dripping with resentment and a fishy smell. That's the caviar. Exactly, JB. Like, you can have the same root thing, but you behave, you respond to the same stimuli in different ways. It's like in response to failure, some people will just curl in a ball and give up and saying, oh, that's, that's it. Or you can take the failure to spur you on to behave differently. Kind of like Fred took failure and in, in, went into one direction, and Mia here took her incident of the uh, children burning alive, and then that spurred her to become even more of a maternal figure. So you, you can look at it in two different ways. Great job on the casino mission, Dustpan. Not so bad yourself, Egg Beater. Ah, well, you know. <laughs> now I know you would never tinker with my mind like that, darling, because I would levitate you to the moon. Ooh. Understood. Can she actually do that? Oh my god, they really address that Mia versus Mila? I actually got a comment the other day telling me that I was saying her name wrong. <laughs> Is it pronounced Mia or Mila? Well, it's That's short funny. for Camila, you know? But when I first started here, Sasha mispronounced it and I thought it was so cute. I didn't have the heart to correct him, and now I kind of like it, darling. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to keep calling her Mia then. Uh, sorry, you're looking for an in-law reason? Let me read up. If the collective unconscious is a world of connected minds, what determines whether that mind appears there? Why aren't the old brains there? Um, lore reason? I honestly couldn't tell you. Gameplay, obviously, we can't go into worlds that aren't designed for the game. There's no assets for it. Lore reason? Maybe this is a different brain tumbler, so it's a different subsection of the collective unconscious, so it's only collecting the things that are physically in the area. But then again, we've been to Mia and Sasha's mind, so that really wouldn't explain it there either. She should have made Fraser references. Find anything out? Find out anything new, Agent. I don't. I couldn't tell you. No, darling, and I hate it. How about you? I have some leads, but nothing to report yet. Oh, that sounds exciting, darling. Well, I'll stop bothering you now. Never a bother, darling. Ciao. I love you. Best girl. Okay. You're in the Mila camp? Well, because again, like she mentioned, her name is Camila at the end of the day. They d never really refer to as that. Even in the, uh, I think the text for her world from Mia's dance party, they only give her the M I L L spelling, but... It's just, I've been hearing them say Mia for so long, it's just second nature. I don't even think about it, to be frank. Anybody know what time it is? Yeah, it'd be nice to see some updated versions of the first game's uh, mental worlds. Like, don't tell me if this ever happens, but if we ever do bump into some of the old patients, I'd love to see how they're doing now. Oh, good. Oh, I just hate to see you like this. Hi, Sasha. Rasputin. Just gonna jump in and say Camilla reminds me of uh, Camilla Rhodes. <laughs> Mulholland Drive, anyone? Oh boy. I still need to watch it. I have not seen Mulholland Drive. Selective Collective Unconscious. Well, okay, let, let's just take a pause. You, one can make the argument that there is a collective consciousness for a... Uh, between two people, there's a collective consciousness between a family unit, there's a collective consciousness between a friend unit a city unit, a, a community unit, a world unit. So there's, you could argue there's several paradigms and tiers of collective mental groups and they're all gonna interact differently. For example, how you interact in a family unit is gonna be different than how you interact with your friend units. So that, let's just, that's something to think about when it comes to why there's only a few here. Anyway, Any sorry. New leads? I'm getting nowhere with this. Old this Minds DLC, I would love that derpy. <sighs> I would love that derpy. I'll let you get back to the No. I haven't seen Mulholland Drive. Help. You've done a lot, Rasputin. Thank you. Sausage complains that he shouldn't you have bought the cheap brain tumbler during the first one. Older. Nothing to worry about. It's just it comes down to the technology. I mean, does this uh the brain tumbler actually put you into the full collective unconscious? Because then there would literally be eight billion or yeah, eight billion minds connected versus just 
ones that are already linked to it. Because they only show up in the collective consciousness second. after Raz has already entered it, which means he's personally developed a link. So one could argue that you're only going what to a place with minds you personally link to, not Don't everyone. Be too hard on yourself, kid. It's a mess in there. The judges and Jasper aren't that different. Both are voices of negative thoughts under different circumstances. Agreed. 100%. Hmm. Is it time to take a spin I'm in the brain to tumbler? One more time. Conscious and unconscious of the movie, you'll love it. Oh, sounds fun. Yes. All right, sorry, sorry for rambling there. Let's play the game. You're not here to listen to me ramble about stuff. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play some more. I think we can 100% one of Hollis's areas. And I think we've already 100% to Lobato's. Let me just switch over. Yeah, Lobato's is done. I think the classroom we can finish. The hot streak we cannot do until we get another um, ability. Compton's cookout, we just need the emotional baggage. So let's head over there. Do, 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 do. Is that the cookout? That's the cookout. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like this version of the collective unconscious is a lot. Right, well, okay, never mind. Let's do Hollis's classroom. I lied. Rabbling isn't scripted videos. <laughs> Absolutely, John. And I hope, I'm pretty sure everyone's noticed at this point in the game, no pun intended, that uh, I very much script it for a reason, because if I had to free ball those discussions, I would not be able to do it properly. I, I cannot have those kinds of conversations if May off the cuff. Uh, collective, I'm, I think the hospital parking lot is where I missed a bunch of them. Hey, Derpy Gamer, thank you so much for the subscription. Glad to have Thanks, you. Buddy. All right, so I know there was some I missed here because I don't think I went up on top of the roof. Yeah. Yep, I think for I some reason, some I didn't make it up here. Nearby. Oh, hey there. There we go. What the heck is oatmeal? I don't know. I, like, it's obviously oats, maybe f dried oats or something. I'm assuming. I've never, I've honestly never See, thought about it. Huh. Here's the hat box tag. All right, so at least we're done with this section right here. Grains, oats, and milk and water. It's dried oats, yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, I'm a uh, Caribbean. I'm a total scatterbrain. 100%. Okay, so what else are we, are we missing? We're missing one. We already have the tag, so we just need to find it. Okay, I think we're done here. We need to find one more hey, emotional buddy. baggage. I need to get somewhere quick. Oh, the hat box is here. Perfect, thank you. Before I started running around in circles, there it is. I thought I heard something crying. Talking to Hollis here. There we go. Perfect. And is this the same picture? It, this one's a cube, this one's the hat. Okay. So, talking about me being scatterbrained and rambling for no reason. Most people probably don't think about it. Do you know why a graduation cap is designed that way? Where you have the um, circular head and then you have the four sides. Basically a square with a flat top. Does, does anyone actually know why it's designed that way? It's been like that for a very long time. And there's a reason why it's specifically black and gold as well. So, like, the black and gold actually has to do with symbolism used um, for... Okay. Going back in time, originally the magistrate class of was designed to have red and black coloring. If you look at, like, uh, Catholic cardinals, they still wear those colors. In uh, England, though, they switched it over to black and gold, so it has to do with the magistrate class, which were the only group of people that could actually read and write in the ancient cultures at a certain point in time. Now, the black and gold, that's why you have the gold tassel on the black cap, but the flat top is intended to represent that now that you've graduated through your college or whatever, you now have a foundation, that flat foundation in which to build your knowledge upon it. Graduation was never thought of originally as now you know everything you need to know, go out into the world. It's now you have a basic understanding of how to think and navigate a new topic that you have that grounded foundation to build upon. 
Agent Force. Just random, sorry. Not now, Aquato. I'm still cleaning up the mess you made in here. But I thought that was all fixed. You removed the cause of the anomalies, but many of its effects are still around. I'll help clean up. All right, but just be careful. You got How's it. How's the cleanup coming? Fine, but I'm still trying to unpack these complex notions I have about cilantro. Can you look there, that thing's eyes? Uh, this guy? This thing? Little snot monster? Oh, you got it, Mr. Uh, Mr. Matabi. Sorry, I ha don't have my glasses. I can barely see. Oh, his name's Oatmeal? Is that an actual thing? Can't even tell. His name's Oatmeal. I never knew that. Interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and head out of here. I don't think we can do the rest of it until we get another brain ability from what everyone was saying. But yeah, it's just something that, in terms of the graduation cap that I try to keep in mind, is yeah, graduation doesn't mean you've gotten to the pinnacle of what you're trying to do. It means now you have the base foundation. Go out and build upon that knowledge. Just like you're building a house. You have to have a concrete foundation before you can build a structure on top of it. Maddening. Okay. So now that we got everything, let's go do the bowling alley portion. Let's go. Exactly. The black and gold was adopted by Oxford College. It's sort of a personal thing. Yeah, and the original, it was originally red and black. And then it was later adopted and transferred over to the black and gold. Actually, um, hold on. Let me pull up my phone real quick. There is a video series on YouTube what a day. that gets into a lot of uh, these kind of weird things. Let me see if I can find it. Is it Go yet? check out a YouTuber named Reinstall Paul and check out um, his uh, series on word magic. The very first two episodes deal with this idea. That's where I got the knowledge from. Go check him out. He also has some great work on Feet. Um, the Silent Hill series, Bioshock, Legend of Zelda. He, if you think I, I get into like weird, into head. lecture style formats, he is a full. His work's incredible. Go check it out. All right. So, ba -ba 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 -ba, Astral Lands. Let's go. Fun fact: We have something like oatmeal in Iran, but it has wheat, onions, and meat in it. It's called halim. What a Sounded disgusting, but when it's downright some sugar, it's an amazing breakfast. Interesting. Onions, wheat, and meat. Hmm. We should collect the brain or the Ford stuff. Go to Compton first. Compton? Okay. Okay. Almost Compton. I guess we're going out to the woods then. Let's go buy a few things first, though. Um. Mentally, the connection's a chance to cause the mind. Oh. Yeah, we want more money, absolutely. Clairvoyance. Extends the duration of brain block. I don't even know what that does, but we want to buy everything eventually anyway, so let's just grab it. You know what? Because... Okay, because we're going there, I want to be able to pet, pet our guys. I want to be able to pet the animals. I want to pet animals. Let's go. Let's do this. You need to get the final find from Compass. Oh, that's right. Sorry. I thought you told me you guys meant to go find him. I completely forgot why we were going to the brain tumbler in the first place. See? I'm scatterbrained. My memory is not that great. I will full on walk into a room and forget what I'm doing. Hmm. Is it time to take a spin in the brain tumbler? If I will continue the series after the game, yes. Um, Kirby. Basically, as soon as I finish up Psychonauts One, we still have Edgar. Uh, basically, Black Velvetopia, Meet the uh, Meat Circus. Then I'm going to be doing one specifically on Lobato that encompasses Rhombus of Ruin and this one, and then we'll start moving into these games. Yes. I'm are these mental worlds? The brain bumbler. 
Oh, dude, I, me and Ford are kindred spirits in that sense. Okay, so boom. That is the one we want. Okay, perfect. Okay, are you gonna grab the thing? Grab it, thank you. Oh, we have to go all the way around, gotcha. Perfect. I don't think Compton has a cook-off as mine as any literal meaning. It's just there is emphasized uh, pressure needing to do things perfectly. Like exactly. The of this show has been cut drastically. It absolutely has. It was chopped. <laughs> you don't bite, right? Oh, good go. Wait, can I do that to? Tell the others. You're my and now he's running away. Anyways, so. That is something I also noticed in this game as compared to the first game in term and when it comes to their mental world designs. Uh, behind the blunder, that's right. Is that they don't really make the world specifically to reflect how their mind works. It's more they find a metaphor that reflects what their condition is, even though the specific metaphor, the symbols used in it aren't exactly what their issue is. I think I so it, it's a different approach, but it gets the same job done at the end of the day. Uh, looks like Compton's mind is sorted. Emotions. Okay, there we go. And he's got a good squirrel. Perfect. Okay, so one thing I also noticed is that the uh, nuggets of wisdom are different between the worlds. So we got a teddy bear for Lobato. We got a Caduceus. Oh, no, no, Asclepius here. Sorry. No, no, no. This was the Caduceus. I lied. For the nuggets of wisdom, for Hollis, and then we have an egg beater. Or a whisker, I should say, for Compton. Agreed, friends. This game looks amazing. I've heard some people call that now that they got the graphics engine, they should redo the uh, first game with modern, uh, with up-to-date graphics. I don't know if they really need Let to. The game seems, felt, if, at least to me, it feels like it ages pretty decently. Other than the cutscenes, because I think the cutscenes are still rendered at 480p when the rest of the game it can get up to 1080. Um, I think I've done a good portion of the... Uh, questionable area. I, th I think at the top of the um, waterfall there's still some stuff, but I haven't, I haven't been able to do that yet. Another caviar tin in the Any additional uh, anxiety-inducing scenes? Shit, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna go to the bowling alley now. Original game tier. Thank you so much for the subscription. I very much appreciate you. Where should we go? I'll put it up to vote. Because we still got like 50 minutes. I actually might go late tonight. Might stream a little bit longer. It's a Friday. Bowling time. All right. Have we found all of uh, creepy spots? Yep, we have got all that. As far as I know, the side quests, we've already gotten all this part. We still need a spare brain. Um, scavenger hunt and then the fungus. Yeah, so we're all good there. But real quick, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to grab some more water, put some tea on, and I'll be right back. At least as soon as I collect all the titanium. All right. BRB.
and back. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Um, I don't think there is a chronological order, is there? It seems like you can kind of just go in three branching pathways and do whatever you want at this point. We're going to be doing bowling time right now, Perkle. Perkle. Is it Bowling Alley, Mailman, and the Barber? I don't know which one goes in which direction, but we're going bowling first. Let's, is there, let, let's, before we do that, let's check upstairs in the nerve center, because I want to see if there's any more conversations we can get. Like, maybe go talk to Lily and do a few other things. I just want to double check before we proceed further. Agent Forsyth. Sorry about my family. No need to apologize. All families are. That terrible. sucks, John. Nothing's worse oh, than having uh, a game you want to play that you actually, can't get on. Mine was great, really. Oh, mine too. I was just trying to relate to you in a human way. Mm hmm. Sorry to bother you. I know you're busy. I always have time for my interns, Aquata. Now get out of my sight. Now get out of my sight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nope, wrong way. People might think this thought drowned some thoughts. There we go. Oh, that's what we're looking for right up there. Boy, thanks. How much more do we have to collect in this area? I haven't really checked in a while. Uh, mother lube. So we still got four more cards, three more chests, one more key, and three. Three more. I know where one of the side challenge markers is, but we need to be able to get through the um, mail slot over by the mail room. Someone said, look at the green screen. Click the green screen. Also, no stories. Yeah, no story spoilers. 100%. Do not want any of those green screen. This. There we go. How much would that cost? What? Okay, so we got a goat there, but I saw the little moon from uh, the island. Can we get that? Can't even see what it's all on here. What am I doing? Am I breaking everything here? Astronaut ice cream? I really don't see how this is mission critical. Okay. Thank you for the tip there. <laughs> yeah, everything here, I cannot figure out how it's mission critical. I mean, look at this. We got ice cream. People seeing ice cream, uh, astronauts ice cream around the mother lobe. I can't even find the machine. Can of corn. Value of the mysterious artifact lies not in its nutrition, but its significance to the old generation of psychonauts. Maybe it's the old sushi. That's not relevant. Human skulls, possibly. Knife, possibly. Unexploded bomb, possibly. Last get Becky got even with a mining company that cheated her by leaving booby traps throughout the mine, so please stay out of the tunnels on the edge of the quarry. But if one of their bombs happens to fall out of the mine while you're walking by, carefully bring it back here for disposal. Okay, that's just weird. And you need that for yours? Well, I'm glad we're able to help find it. I had no clue. And there is actually is one thing we can do up here in Truman's office that I forgot about. It's Norma, don't expect anything. <laughs> yeah, you're right. What is that Kalanag? I can keep forgetting that she just is there to screw with us. She's literally a chaos element. I forgot that we have full access. Access granted. Yeah. Yellow there. And hello there. Okay, so that's one more of each of those. Nice view looking over down. The boss is always watching. The boss is always watching. Maybe it's for a prank. Considering Raz is walking around with Dale Sushi in his backpack, I bet he smells rancid. Ugh. Are you implying, uh... Forsyth would send you off on a goose chase to keep you busy. How dare you? Well, it was uh, Norma that sent us on this goose chase, but yeah. Okay. 
Honestly, that is actually a really clever way. If you want to keep someone out of the way, send them, give them a random task that is completely meaningless. They'll be so focused on doing that, they won't pay attention to anything else. All right. Um, hey, you. Got some fresh stuff over here. Brand new. Let me grab a some couple brand things. New items here. Oh, crap. We got a lot more money already. Grabbing an enemy with mental connection will deplete their health. Sounds good. Keep that in your pocket until you have the rank to use it. Really, I'm not buying anything currently for practical use. I'm just buying it because I need to get all of them for the 100%. Doubts will explode when you take them out with Pyrokinesis. Ooh, I like that. Choice. Come back anytime. Okay, let me check you. There we go. So we don't need the Beast Mastery. I actually like that thing about Doubts, though. Let's be honest, though. We don't need to change the color. Let's get rid of that so we actually get some more practical use for combat applications. A um, little bit of healing with connections is actually pretty good. I might be able to grab a Psych Handy. Let me just farm a little bit of Psych Tanium. There's a little bit over here, too. And we're all there. I'm not going in the mail room. Leave me alone. Oh, Hello. Hello. That should be enough. Hey, Adam. Hey, Adam. How's it going, fam? Anyone giving you trouble? Nah. Okay, okay, tough guy. Good to know. He just seems like the nicest one out of the group. I mean, like, Lizzie's pretty chill. She's just apathetic, so she can come off as kind of... But Adam is just consistently just the nicest guy there. All right. Just in case. You put Shady? I haven't seen anything about him being Shady. <laughs> At least I haven't noticed anything. All right, let's do this. Sam worries me. She scares me. <laughs> Sam definitely scares me as well. Oh, Otto. Look a little young for the senior league. Hmm? I do have some suspicions about Otto. Hmm. Ah, good tip. Yeah, because basically, my biggest issue with Otto is he's the one who recruited, um, Lucretia. Or Lucy. The simple fact that, one, he recruited her. Two, he gave her a nickname, which means they're close. Makes me wonder what he, what more he knows. Hey, Oleander, what's up? Hey, coach. Wow, he's trashed. Yeah, Sam scares me. I want to travel the world with her. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Would narrative order be considered spoilers? Uh, honestly, all you'd really need to do to direct me in the right direction is tell me, go get the brain from Otto or whatever the other pathway is. Just And don't tell me more than that. I think that'd be fine. Are you supposed to stay away from, you know, death machine plans? Aren't you supposed to yep. stay away from, you know... Death machine plans? This is no death machine, soldier. This is a machine of peace. To protect the people you love from Maligula. Semantics. What do you call your peace machine? The Psycho Mech Battle Bot. Are you still gonna make that thing? Those penny pincers cut it from the budget. Well, maybe that's a good thing? Yeah. yeah. Now I can make it without any official oversight. Oh shit, dude, come on. Oleander, we, we've been through this. We had an entire game about this. I saw Sam, and listen, I think she has some issues with animals. Wow. Yeah. She's a bull. Bulls love animals. Um... I wouldn't eat those pancakes she's making. Eat them? No. We're using them as heat shield tiles for the psychomech. So it doesn't burn up on re-entry. Wait, what? Hey, don't you have an intern to take care of? He's on an important mission. Sent her out to get some nunya. What's nunya? Nunya business. <laughs> Come on, dude. We've been through this. 
How are you gonna make it without money? Son, the less you know about it, the better. Um... Oleander, you're still shady, dude. Do you promise this isn't a plan to take over the world? Rasputin, that was the old me. Yeah, like three days old. Like three days anyway, old. <laughs> with the money Forsyth's giving me, I couldn't take over this bar. What do you think the mole is? Oh, Sasha. 100%. What? I mean, that accent, right? It's weird. Where it's... does it even come from? Coach, I don't think... Trust no one, Rasputin. No one. Maybe I Raz secretly is the mole and doesn't know it. Are you nervous about? Would you kindly? Let me put it this way: that mass murderer did come back. Who do you think she'd blame for what happened to her? Where would she come for revenge? Right here. I don't mean this far, Raz. I mean the mother lobe. Well, I'll leave you to your plans. Plans that will save your life. What would the bartender see me as? Uh, probably an ID or something. <laughs> People would have seen us together and thought, uh, that's good. Wait, what? That's right. What are you talking about, Oleander? What an amazing couple we would have been. Who? Who are you talking about? We would have been unstoppable, you and I. And I'm just curious. Oh, he's talking about the brain tank. Okay. I thought he had a, I thought he had a lady friend we didn't know about. Yep, an ID. <laughs> I am right. Oh, yes. That's exactly what I expected. Little soldier, all right. Seriously, Oleander, we've been through this. Haven't you learned by now? The thing is, I understand where his mind's at. Oh, what could have Objectively, I understand what. He's freaked out. He wants to do everything he can to prepare, even if the threat's never going to come. But he also refuses to go by authority in order to get that done. So it's like... It, it's like I'm torn between him. Can you look through Ford's eyes? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. Shouldn't you be wearing a mask? Really? I've got it in my blood. Today's the day. Yep. For him, the only thing that he can see in his head is making sure the shoes are cleaned. All right, let's go ahead and grab a few things. Got a side card. Get a strike in each lane. Sure. Oleander just sees the world differently than others. Yeah. Like he's gonna come out of completely yep. from a strategic militaristic mindset, which. Depending on what he does with that, is it necessarily a good or good or a bad thing? Technically, it just depends on if he goes off the deep end like he did before. Yeah, that's, from what I heard, yes, we can. There we go. Got to get a strike. Okay. Yeah, well, might as well take some practice shots before the rest of the senior league gets here. Oh, ho, that's a strike. Perfect. Strike one, done. Ford's personalities don't have a terribly deep thoughts, it seems. No, they literally is a one-track pony. Looks like you left the big four. Jerk. Let's try that again. There's the dinner bucket. <laughs> Damn. What do I get for getting the strikes? Yeah, the problem is he ain't military. That's 100% true. Hey, three strikes in a row. That's a turkey. Okay, so do I actually get anything out of this? A feeling of oh. I'm sure Nona won't miss this old Guloki deck. Nope, we, we got a deck of so cards. Blaming. Okay, I didn't even notice. I was not paying attention. So like it like in the first game he was either a cooking hamburgers, raking leaves, um, mopping like brooming, broom mopping the floor, or tending to the boats. 
and that's all he can perceive. Okay, so I think that's everything in here, right? Let's check, because I think we have enough for... No, we don't. Holy sh... Sorry, I just saw down rank 102 limitless. Your powers are no longer restricted by cooldowns. That's good. That... And, oh, yeah, range... The, well, the ranger, wasn't he uh, raking the leaves? Out over by the uh, psycho-isolation chambers? Would Oleander actually be happy if he had a fight in a real war? Well, every time we've seen him in this game actually in conflict, he kind of just runs away. So it's possible he just in likes the idea of war, but if push came to shove, he wouldn't be able to handle it. It's, it's entirely possible. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and do round two of this. Two's aren't ready yet. What you doing? What you doing? Time to disinfect these bowling shoes. I think I'm losing the fight. Would you mind if I stepped inside your mind for a minute? Sure. Better than you stepping inside one of these shoes. I tell you, it's like Germ City in there. Original game theory, his mind would probably be relatively the same. Just instead of themed by these jobs, it would be themed by other jobs. Really had to do an underhand chuck on the side portal there. Make my predictions. Cleaning shoes. Let me close my eyes real quick. Uh... Oh, bowling alley. Okay. See, Ford's going to be a difficult one to try to predict because you really can't get a read on him in terms of what's going on because he's just completely one... Trick, uh, one note, uh, mentally speaking. Turkey. He is fighting entropy. Yes, he, he is the Ati of this universe. Big Lebowski reference. These days are... These dates are real turkey. I need to watch that movie again. That movie's ridiculous. Okay, so we got... A photo booth. The wall's here. Little hearts everywhere, you snacks and beers. The to the others, are you? <laughs> um, are you in there with a lady? Ford? Hmm, wow. Ford and Lucretia dated? Okay. Okay. That's a new data point right there to keep in mind. Okay, so Otto is the one that recruited her, but after that, I'm assuming he started. She started dating Ford. Huh. Crawler Mux party. Elaine is ready. Crawler and Mux. And that's Lucretia's last name right there. So this might be reliving a date they had at one point in time, if that's the case. Maybe they went on a date to something similar, or this is this entire section is just re reliving their relationship. Sorry. He is in the bowling lane until the Okay. I'm not gonna read the rest of that just in case. Turkey wrap cheese plate. A plate of cheese. Interesting. Alright. Hey there. How's it going? I am... What the crack are you? That's weird. The couple that came here on the date, Ford and Lucy? Yeah, they were just here a second ago. Cute couple. Any idea where they went? They went bowling. da -ha! that away. So, how's business? Well, considering the world is going to end any moment, I'd say pretty good. Ah, so the germ sees us as the germs, too. Okay. Okay, okay. Can I pick these up? Nope. Can I pick the ball up? Nope. Giddy up! Oh, crap. Okay, it's just like a giant thought bubble. Made of bricks. That's basically what it is. Okay, so this is gonna basically delve into Ford and Lucretia's relationship! Oh, wow. Oh, dear lord. Oh, dear lord. This is freaking the race in Mia's mind all over again. giant Ford I wonder if there's any brains in there. 
More than you got, Sonny. Oh, that's Again young. Is coming. Oh, give it a rest, guy. Okay, Death what's happening? Coming from above. Okay, chicken little. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Guy was right. All hail Guy the Prophet. Guy was right. There's a piece of Ford's mind in here to reconnect. I'll bet it's up in that giant bowling pit. So is this supposed to be like Super Monkey Ball or something? Lover's Lane. Great smoking flavor. If only everything Last tasted this lasted this long. Look to the sky. Oh, the guy, the prophet. It's Germ City. Marble mad. Marble madness. Lover's Lane. Wow. Yep, I can see why this is a little more difficult. 100. Um, percent hey, Out of my way. So I gotta get to that giant Ford head before the city is sanitized. Okay, okay, okay. So is there something here that specifically needs to be sanitized from his mind? Is that the metaphor we're doing here? Hey, you down by that ball polisher. A little help. Is that what we're trying to go for? True love never dies. So even after everything that happened with Maligula and how that converted. Hmm. I need to fix that light. That's not how you do that. Well, like, it seems like what's specifically happening in this mind, um, Joshua is just diving into their relationship, and that's it. Gotta polish it. What's going on? Oh, sorry, I didn't notice what's going on in the background there. Osmosis Jones so far? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. God, Osmosis Jones, what a reference. Yeah, that falls too. I needs to fix that rail crane, and you're gonna help me, okay? Wait, what? I think I hear something. Let's roll. Let's go. Okay, nice and slow. Good. Now the other side of it. I know what you're up to, kid. Yeah, it feels like he's trying to sanitize something inside of his own head. Okay, so we can't jump out of this one. Freshly brewed yeast. Okay, at least we got a tag over here. So I'm assuming each of these personalities... I mentioned last uh, stream that my opinion on Ford is that we're going to have to do se several sections to reclaim different mirror shards and reforge the mirror that reflects himself. So I'm guessing at the end of this we'll get the first of those shards. Oh boy, here... Oh jeez! Okay, well that didn't work. Perkele. I hope I said, pronounced that correctly. Uh, no, 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 no! There we go. Even if I don't live to see it, there will be a tomorrow. Ha! Okay. This looks like the way forward. Yes, this is the way. But the path to him is not always clear. Uh, Crap. Thanks. Okay, let's do this again. The ball junking be finicky. Yeah, I can see that. It seems like it, especially because the, um... Boxes here, basically. Collision detection is a little weird. Ah! On the geometry. Okay, let's go. All good things must come to an end. So is shit. So is okay. Now that now that I'm thinking back. Excuse me. Coming through. Hey, I know that guy. I know that guy. If I'm gonna get to fourth. I need to fix that broken rail on the Kingpin Express before someone arrests me. Wait, you can dismount the ball? Stay. Okay, I guess you can dismount the ball. Now this stuff hey, now, don't cross the foul line. line. Yeah, right. Wait, I'm where's... No, you're no. So brave okay, now I don't even know what's going on. Where's the balls? <laughs> okay, sorry, going back to the, sanit the sanitizing thing. Um, is he trying to metaphorically sanitize his feelings about Lucretia? What was that? 
basically wiping those emotions out of his mind entirely. Man, this thing's big. And that is that what this is metaphorically is supposed to represent? Okay, I'll say that again. Some don't control, tell me, but that's where my thoughts are at right now. Yeah. At least that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking as of right now. Because this entire level feels like it is supposed to represent their emotional connection. And if this world is sanitized, therefore that emotional connection is removed. Thanks. Wish I could take you with me, Shiny. But rules are rules. Yep, rules are rules. We gotta go by it. He's just cleaning the shoes. So yeah, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. Alright, let's go foul. Alright. Hello. Whoa, oh, okay. Oh boy, oh boy, these flooring is not even. I'm not in... I'm gonna go into your head, dude. You can't stop me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, gravity's gonna be a little weird right here. Let's go. No ball rolls forever. Okay. That is actually very true. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Love is forever. Just keep out of my head or you'll be sorry. I think that was a line in the trailer. Especially so with his broken mind. Hyper-focused on one element of his life. These are pretty focused. Yeah, exactly. Like, um... I don't... I don't know if I want to go as far... What do you guys think? Actually, let me, let me pose the question. Do you think that Ford, as a result of this mental fracture, going back to Fred's video again, has dissociative disorder, and each of these... Suppose it's each of these sections are essentially different fragmented parts of his personality that are focused on one individual task. Because hey, one could argue he has a, a form of a dissociative issue. Hi. Oh no, Blue Spirit, yes. You will not comment since they beat the game. Gotcha. I appreciate very much appreciate King of Tropes. It, instead of because again we were talking about how the same uh, condition can display in different ways. With Fred, it displayed in one way. In here, it's literally segmented parts of his uh, conscious processes. Oh god, this is gonna be tough. Or can I jump off? Let me hop off real quick and see if I can make it across here. And pop. Hi there, guys. Oh, we got a figment. And of course, it's bacon. Whoa, how do I get up? Now, okay. There. We needed more bacon. It's called Strike City. Let's see how we're doing here. Strike City. Da -da 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 -ding. So we just got a few more figments, half a mine to find here, and one memory vault. Gotcha. You can jump off. Thank you. Yeah, just. I'm trying to figure out when I can and when I cannot. Maybe it's just these uh, rails right here that doesn't let me go across it. I appreciate the sign being designed in a way that literally there's a little hole there in the center for Raz to slip through. Otherwise, we'd be shit out of luck on trying to get through this whole mind. Break time's over, germs. What's the point? We're never going to get this building finished before the big spring. I'm going to dock you pay for that. <laughs> okay, what's the construction doing here? Okay, I'm gonna overanalyze everything. So if there's a construction site going on here, they're building a. Sh what are they trying to build? Oh, oh shit! Sorry. No 
shoes are in the lane. Those things are filthy. You'll make marks. I apologize, Jesus. Maybe I can hop it around. Yeah, let's just look around here real quick. No elevator rides for the moment, I'm afraid. Why? I like the elevator rides. All right, let's see if we can find anything over here. Did, 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 yeah, no subtitles. Um, it's just a personal thing of mine. I'd rather listen to the lines of dialogue, and reading them kind of sometimes disrupts the flow of the scene for me. All right, thing. I think we need to go up now. All right, let's head on up. I don't know, it, are the frames dropping? Actually, I did not put the performance mode back on. Give me a second. Let me switch that back. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Let me know if anyone has a few drop frames. I'll see what I can do. Whoa! Slow down, and over. There we go. All right, so it gives us a little shortcut. All smooth now, thanks. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, basically, I keep forgetting um, when I come back to... On Streamlabs, it's rendering the video on my other monitor as well. And by... Basically, it makes it so I can't see the playback. And that'll help with the um, CPU space. And we're gonna go back there on the back end. Oh boy, here we go. There's a vault at the beginning of the level. Did I miss it already? We can come back in as soon as we're out of here. Oh, there's snot holding onto the ball. That's 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 gross. Oh god, don't fall off the edge. Okay, nice and slow. Take it nice and easy. This entire ball is disgusting. And we made it. Okay. There's the half half of mind right there. Perfect. All right, so this we're gonna have to go across, anyways. How do other psychonauts deal with all this without circus training? Maybe they have other ways of getting around. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Oh god! I try to do that the hard way. Okay, we made it down there. Sorry, I was a little... Not talking right there for a second, trying to focus. Yellow. Boom, we finally got some more health. All right, let's head on down and then strike on through. Slow, 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 slow. What's that sound? Oh, no, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Grab it, grab it. Thank you. Perfect, we made it. Yeah, this one would feel more like a dissociative identity disorder in general, but not because of any... Actually, I take that back. I can't say what, because we don't know, or at least I don't know, what specifically caused his mind to shatter. It's implied someone dropped like a mental bomb on him that shattered his inner world. Whether that's he did it to himself for whatever reason, whether someone else did it to him, the motivation behind it, it could be it was just part of a battle, it could be he knows something no one wants anyone to find out, so they intentionally shattered his mind so that no one can go in and ask him about it. And that cushion, hold on. What is happening over here? What is happening right here? And we do need to go back in here. Shit, I saw a, a bag behind that gate right there. Hey, now, no crossing the foul line. Okay, sorry, I saw a bag and I was trying to figure out how to get to it. 
crap. Okay, let's grab the ball and knock it over. Yeah, because it makes me wonder if Ford is the only one that knows some information we need, it's possible that breaking him was intentional to keep that secret. All right, there we go. You have an intern credit for upgrade. Sure, let's go mess around. Uh... Eh, sure, why not? After a certain point, really the mental, the dark thoughts is the only requirement here, and the one for the telekinesis, pulling things out faster. After that, I really don't care what we get. I can feel the collective struggle not spoil anything from chat. Stop enticing people, Dean. I'm sorry. <laughs> Isn't that why half of why we're here to hear me try to figure things out and laugh at me for being wrong half the time? I think that's half the fun of watching a blind run anyways. Lover's Lane, let's go. Yeah, I think it was a big deal for him. Hey, it's Ford and Lucy. Sorry. We're striking through it all too. Didn't mean to ruin your date. Seriously, I feel like he like this entire section is trying to sanitize the emotional connection there. Or at least the memories of Just it. Like I said. Here comes the big it's the spring. end of space! It's the big one. It's so beautiful. I don't know why I'm getting uh Independence Day vibes of people standing on top of the skyscraper going, Yes, they're here to save us, just as the aliens shoot them down. Whoa, okay, now we're inside of, directly inside of his head. Inside of his mouth. This is, oh, this is an odd imagery right here. So if you start talking about it, it starts an itch. <laughs> well, I'm glad I can at least evoke the reaction there. And here's part of the mirror shard, like I thought. Perfect. Hey, my first. Out in here. Now get for us, Let me at least get the shard out. Don't touch that. That's private. No. We're putting you back together, oh, son. You and you loved her. Her name is Lucretia. Yeah. But I called her Lucy. And even from that first date in that grimy bowling alley, I knew. Knew that it was too good to last forever? Hey, all relationships end one way or another. Hmm. I just didn't think it would end so badly. Hey, cheer up. Even gutter balls return. Eventually. Yeah, that's what I figured we'd be doing. <sighs> That is absolutely true. There are some people that hit you that hard that you almost never get over them. I'm guilty of that 100%. <laughs> Got one piece of Ford's mind connected. Now for the other two. I hope I'm doing the right thing, but Agent Zanato is right. We'll need Ford at full capacity if we're going to have a chance against Maligula. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely something that weighs on all of us. Without giving spoilers, the salon comes before the mail room because something happens in the salon mental world and the mall male mental world, there's a response to that. Yeah, so let's let's go to the um, hunt, get the hundred percent on this section real quick. But to go ahead and debate and let me know what is best, mail room or the salon, because it seems like there's a little bit of uh, division there. Or I should say, differing opinion. Who would steal a toilet plunger? Um, technically, I would. But that's a completely different reason. Oh, 
I just hate to see you like this. So if anybody does not know, toilet plungers are actually a great tool for um, brass instruments. You basically take the rubber part of it off and you hold it on the end of your bell and you can make some good wah-wah noises. It's called a plunger mute. Hmm. Is it time to take a spin in the brain tumbler? So it seems like everyone's still 50-50 on which to go first. Well, I'm probably not going to go into another um, yes, I'm ready mental to world to tonight. Just due to it's getting a little bit late on this end, but I'm going to try to do some other things around the uh, around the house, so to speak. Uh, so there, there's that one. Yeah, boom! Let me in. Let me in. Nick John Smith is a very university love person, though. So I understand if you wanted to give him this brain, he is just a lovely person. See, I keep getting. Every character in this game says that over and over, and I'm not sure if it's mental suggestion or if he's legitimately a good dude. Hey, I thought this world was sprayed out of existence. But it... Oh no, that's happening in a few minutes. Oh wow, the cycle continues. I'd better get my cleanup done quick. Yeah, I gotta get clean because it it feels like people are being suggested to like him. Ah, ah. Like, if this feels like a would you kindly situation to me, personally. Okay, so we said that the mental vault's near the front. What do we got? Oh, so we, we missed one figment and vault, and we still need to tag in another one of those. Okay. Was there a side path that I missed? Yeah, no spoilers. I know it's really Bye. difficult, but because it's not just me. I know, Morning like like Yellow Bat was saying, some people I haven't played it yet. Okay, so I don't think I don't think it's up here. I think the mental vault's a little bit further down, behind the bar. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Maybe if we burn that, no. Nope, not in here. Not in there. We got some titanium, but that's about it. Nope, not behind here, not behind the germ there. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be in here. Okay, time to clear out, folks. You don't have to go home. Behind but you the can't smoking advertisement? Here. Okay. We'll find it as we go down. Whoa, let's go. Okay, oh, I'm gonna make you so All right. sick. So that's that one right there. Yep, there's a section back here that I did not get to the first time. There we go. There's the vault right there. Perfect. I think I've collected every figment in this mine. Perfect. Oh, I know. I saw it. I'm just checking up here first. I have a weird way of keeping things in my head when I do these kind of platformers. Uh, I'm just trying to get a mental map of everything. Okay, let's go. For some reason, I thought that going up there would give me the tag, and that'd be the end of that pathway. Ford and Lucy's first date. So yeah, Otto introduced them when he... Yeah, that's what I figured. And she started bringing up the titanium from the bottom. I think they mentioned that earlier, too. Yep. 
psychic bowling. Yeah! Aww. I'm gonna walk away from that, and we will never comment upon that ever again. No one saw me do that. <laughs> the gem was naked. Please, let's leave this weirdo game. <laughs> My PB and chat, I don't even know what that means! Okay, so now we just need to find the tag and go for it. Um, did we miss it because we died and started a different spawn? Hold on. Because I think we died over here and it caused us to spawn in a place we weren't supposed to be. Yeah, because I was tr basically trying to get across this. No, or did I make that? Well, goodbye, ball. I can never imagine someone like Otzi being romantic. He have very beautiful eyes. Reminds me of the ocean. Pecula. <laughs> right before there is a way... Okay, at one point you'll be rolling over a sideways neon sign. Copy that. Alright, let's go. Let's go. So I guess we're just going through the entire section again. Yeah, I'm back. Hi. Crap. There we go. Dude, the world's about to end. Your clothes will be fine. Oh. Hmm. You should find me when you go to the Hall of Brains. Oh, Kayla, you got into the Hall of Brains? I'm jealous. I did, uh, I got my name into the uh, credits for the backers, but I didn't get into the Hall of Brains, unfortunately. Yep. That's really cool, congratulations. Ow! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so, sorry, um, I'm just gonna ask, do we go down this way or do I go back to the other side? It's so friggin' surreal, I can imagine. Like, honestly, I don't know why I didn't donate more back when they were uh, looking for backer money. I don't know why, because that would have been really freaking cool. This right here. Sideways neon sign. This is where we're at. I was poor. I, I I didn't have a job at the time, but still. Oh, here, 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 here. Gotcha. All right. I think. Here, let me try this. Maybe we have to go behind it? Oh, jeez. No, that's not what we do. You have to fall into the right... Jump into the O. Jump into the O. Okay. Right here? Wow, that's awkward. Yes. Let me just run over the bad idea. Goodbye. Goodbye. None of your shenanigans. I have a giant bowling ball jerk. Alright, here we go, and we're back. Hey, Lotus, how you doing? Okay, now I'm trying to remember. Yeah, this is an obscure section. Okay, so now I gotta remember where the vault itself was. 
Actually, I don't think I remember seeing the vault. Good morning, how are you doing? That tickles? I ran over you with a giant ball and you say that tickles? You need to go back to get, oh, you have to go back? Okay. Yeah, it's fine. You're just a mental figment. Whoop, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Is that down there? No, that's where the vault was, wasn't it? Let me get back over. Jump off, jump off, Raz. Get back over there. There we go. 7 a.m. Yeah, it's about 10 o'clock right here. Yeah, the bag. My family man. Anything down on this side? Nothing on that side. I'm still not seeing it. Woo! This is probably gonna be the last thing we do is get this, maybe run around a little bit more, but that's about it. Okay, go ahead and just direct me to where the uh, final bag is. Because. I have you absolutely first, no muscles. idea. Oh no, you first. After you. Use the belt teleporter since no, sections before you. the fall. Now the void are not connected. Okay, the first polisher. Copy that. Okay. Let's go. Hey little buddy. I need to get someone. Uh alley interior. Let's go. First ball polisher. Okay. That was gross. Thanks ride. Yep, thanks. Oh, thank you for the ball. Okay, first ball polisher. Oh, Which is so right there. It, maybe it's behind it. That might be where it's at. Yeah, there it is. Hey, we got you, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and smelling salt our way out of here. Look through the bag's eyes. Uh, doesn't it show him as a bellhop, John? Yeah, I thought, yeah, exactly. Uh, Mr. Matebi. All right, so we got you. Where are you? Strike City. Four girls members of Bowling Alley date. It must have been up her alley or they would have split. Got to figure out how to return that mind fragment. Okay. Oh, God. There's going to be a time where I'm going to have to go through every single one of these. Just analyze the crap out of them. All right. No, it's not legal whatsoever. I doubt much of what's going on here is legal. Okay, let's go see if we can purchase anything more at auto real quick, and then we'll probably call it quits. The vaults, I haven't checked clairvoyancy on, so we can try that when we get to the next section. Hi -ya. Oh. Do, 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 do. Sup, little guy? Not much, just rolling about. We can at least get a little, few more items real quick. Oh, you look just like my nephew. At least collecting the titanium in this the game is a lot easier Shall and less tedious than running chair. around with a damn dowsing rod. I'll do the half range, sure. Yeah, we can do that too. At least the repeat figments of different color teams are stacked together instead of being shown on separately. Oh god, trying to find out where missing ones were in the original game was a nightmare. Because you literally had to search, like, which page it was on, which row, which column. And then half of the um, guides online were incorrect, so you never really got what you were looking for. It was, ugh. It was terrible. Okay. 
Uh, no, we don't need you. Don't need you. Throw objects will daze enemies for longer. You know what? That's not I bad. I tell you are an intern, staff member, visitor, or intruder of great taste. I am very much an intruder with great taste. Right now. Good, because I would never trust one to someone so young. Of course. Dude, you've given me all of your bullshit, Otto. Stop lying. Alright, I think that's about it. Under which... Uh, it's probably closer to the UN, um, Kalanag, that the Psychonauts are under. Or they might just be an independent private... No, they, they can't be private because they're probably publicly funded. I don't know. We don't really get into the economics of it. I miss the cobwebs? Yeah. Auto has some screws loose. It would not surprise me. Okay, so I think that's everything here. So in... Um... I think what I may do is put up a community poll tomorrow for everyone just to let me know which is best. Move forward to the mail room or the barbershop because it seems like everyone's still kind of 50-50 on what should go first. I'll do that. Um, I'm probably going to be scheduling another stream for Sunday morning and I am off work Monday due to the Labor Day so I'll, I'll be doing another stream then too. So a lot more coming in the next few days so we don't have to wait till next Wednesday. As long as we don't have to collect marbles and mine the cow of the udders or the nuggets of wisdom. <laughs> no problem. Hey, we didn't talk to this guy. Excuse me, but how would you feel about me putting you in the body of Nick for the mailroom? Young man, that is not a polite question. I wouldn't ask, but it's really important. How is it not polite? Sorry, but it's gross. If you need a brain, go see Otto Mentalis. He's got heart prints on them in his brain. Fine. Where's his brain frame? In his lab on the other side of the quarry, right across from the mother lobe. Hi, I'm Raz. Hey, I'm Larry. Hey, Larry. My lack of body. It was sick today, so I left it at home. I don't approve of this. So even when someone has a sick day, they have to rip their brains out, throw it into a ball, and still go to work? These guys need a union, I swear. Yeah, if, if, like, if you want to, sure, but if you're forced to, come on, give the guy a break. Alright. So that's gonna be it for today, everybody. Um, I'll go- whoa, that's some low freaking frame rate mop over there. Anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna post the- put the community post up there tomorrow morning, and we'll- tentatively schedule the next stream for I think it's gonna be like 9.30 or 9 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard. But I'll, I'll put a post up if anyone wants to um, get the notification for it. If that works for everyone, I'm not sure. Hopefully that's better. Thank you all so much for joining. Thank you, Melon Lord. Um, yeah, honestly, we at, last stream was more running around the overworld and collecting things. This one, we actually got more into the nitty-gritty, into the meat of it, and I am having so much fun. It, it's one of those things where... Be, the first time playing a game like this is always going to be the most magical experience, and you can never recapture that, so I really appreciate everyone joining me along for the ride on this. Anyways, I'll see you all next stream. Have a good day slash evening wherever you're at in the world. Later.